Hello folks and welcome back to Court Farm. Here we are with the Massey and the Coloss and a brand new trailer we bought. So we gone and decided to buy this trailer, the Lizard PS18 23H with of course the Union Jack flag. And that is because we need a trailer just for like moving around the yard and that. Things like when we do the animals and that, load up with TMR and that or do a silage or anything like that it does help and especially with doing contracts as well with the field so for now we're just going to place this here actually I think this would be a good time to get the rocks in so the mine's gone up so what I'm going to do now is include some clips whilst I get things set up here so enjoy these clips of us getting some money from the contracts Mainly it's from harvesting contracts and that's it. I think they don't think we did a size contract, no, because that's still there. So yeah, enjoy the clips whilst I get it set up. So you've seen how we got the money. And one thing I'm going to do is upgrade this to a three and a half ton weight. Also, I'm just going to change the color to black. There we go, just over three grand. That's worth it because these stones are heavy as hell. And as we've seen at the end of the last episode, we were very seesawing. Even with this, yep, back end's still going up, but not as much as it was, so... Actually, we need to turn this around. Because now we've got enough money for the stone crusher, 25 grand. And we're going to be placing that somewhere on the farm. I did think about getting a little plot of land or something, or... Maybe place it by where we've got the farm side of it, for the straw. But there is a little spot that we can go and place. So yeah, let's get it loaded up. And then I'll show you where I'm going to place it, or maybe just place it in the time lapse. As we just go and push this out of the way. Wasn't the best placement we could have. Oh, ideally, I wanted a bit more into the bush, move it inwards, but also do need to be wary of getting this out. So, because initially I was planning on sort of moving it more inwards, but for some reason I was getting collisions, perhaps with the trees and that here. Could have free placed it, but I still risk messing things up in that. So yeah, go on and place it here. Actually, is there any way we could perhaps soften the terrain? Let's move ourselves out of the way. Maybe should have done this beforehand. There we go. Soften it a bit, but. I think that's going to be as best we can do. But yeah, so we ended up having that's just a surprising amount of 14,000 litres almost. 
and that's going into the crusher. And the thing for it should be somewhere here. Also, oh, he's at the back here, that's probably why. It does need water, so yeah, we can sort it out. Not a problem at all. Unfortunately, the barrel is just over here. And I think this is already filled with water from what I've done a couple of episodes ago. Let's double check. Oh yeah, it's filled with water or so. Let's go and place that. There we go. And now, we're making lime, so... We should get about 30-ish or so thousand litres of lime. And that's going to consume that very quickly, even the time window we've got, so... Really, all it's now to do is just leave that processing and go in. And actually, whilst we've still got this attached... Should we top it up, or how's the cows with the milk? Also, any contracts? Decent Pokemon's up. Harvesting contracts, but we need a corn header and that. For 93 and 118. Let's have a quick look at the headers. Yeah, it's not really worth it in that. But yeah, as I was going to look at, it's the animal, so. Getting no milk yet from the cows, which makes sense. So, you know what? We'll just top up with water for now. We're going to need that before we get the cows in. And yeah, it is a pretty tight error getting this in. There we go. Once we get it in that first section, it ain't too much of a worry. Ooh. Of a two wheel moment there. And there we go, we're full. Well, yeah, we've got 30 grand in that. And actually, since we've got this topped up, maybe put some greenhouses down. You know, get a bit of passive income coming in. Yeah, why not? Let's see if we can get us out first of all. So I can remove that fence panel there. It would be so much easier just to manoeuvre it. But no, we can't demolish it and that, so... Now it's just a case of whacking it out, come on. There we go, so the trick of that. Jerking it out. Do not take that uh, context, so yeah. And I'm thinking we can place some greenhouses over here where we've got the roller store to, so let's go and move that out of the way. Especially, it's not really a good site for the campers, really. Come on, especially in our equipment out here, like, it's not really a good image to be set in, but. Oh, uh, well, it was one of those things. Eventually we'll put all this away. But one thing I'm going to do is turn on interactive markers. Because we'll go to productions, greenhouses. And I want the hydroponics. Can we get away with placing two down? Ooh, maybe be a bit iffy with terrain. Saying there. Ah, uh, can we squeeze one more in? Come on. There we go. Actually, if we get rid of that bush now, that little tree there, clear this up. I think, you know what, I should just do that now, because... Why not? Oh. 
Someone that's cutting the tree. Actually, perhaps we should have got mulcher out. Yeah, we need to get the mulcher, so... Oh, dang it. Uh, da, 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 where is it? Two under forestry. These are out for twelve hundred. And let's go and quickly fetch that. There we go. So shred all this up. Solve this so go ahead and return that. And what is the price of wood chips? Maybe get yeah, about 300 quid or so. Dang it, not even that. Prices are really harsh at the moment. So, tall tree stores. Oh, yeah, something like that. So, you know what? If I say, just get you there, deliver tall tree stores. Nope, not that one. There we go. Nope, actually, I'm looping. Sure, why not? So you come back here. Workers off doing that. Yeah, 150 quid and. Maybe a couple quid that is in the worker as well, so may not be the best option for us to do, but we do need a few things so is it a better rate, but we do need some liquid fertilizer, so I'm gonna turn all these on. And dump this here over here and just dump you over there. There we go. Nice little shower for that one. <laughs> but anyways. Ashes, what's in the used market today? Nothing interesting. That ain't too bad. Six cows, 13 sheep and pigs. Possibly, but... Yeah, and I should not ring a bother with that for now. I should also just quickly do this terrain work. So painting. We want new gravel. It's a bit of a clashy area, I would admit. go. I think you know what? That is actually ain't too bad. Just put a tiny bit of gravel along here. So yeah, that's fine getting to so that one's gonna be it's not an issue. It's easy just driving in reverse. But let me just see how much it takes as well of everything so pretty much almost driving into the campsite as well. And that's going to take how much of that? Almost all that, so that is three trips on its own. Three trips of going through this. So no, two more trips, so yeah, one for that one, two, so we need that. Also, we need a liquid fertilizer. And there is some options for us of that. But if we go under pallets, uh, where is it to? I think this would be the best option for us. So we need 10 is 15,000 liters. 
plus another three, so 13 of these we're going to need. Ah, we don't have enough, so... Let's spend all of our money. There we go. I have it down to just 25 quid, so... Let's first of all, get this all loaded up. Get the water transferred over. Uh, is there a way if we say we do a loop here would that work? Actually, I think the loop is actually better. So you know what? Let's do one more time lapse of getting this all sorted. And then also we'll get the liquid fertilizer. So actually, he didn't need that much to be for I was going to get himself in debt there. Well, I thought it would be a bit cheeky to get some cheap liquid fertilizer. But yeah, we're left with 4,000 litres left, so... Can we unload it here? No, I don't think we can unload this. Usually you can unload it into a pallet, so I guess not here. Nope. Oh no then. Oh well, that's fine by me. And yeah, technically the greenhouses are in the way of the campsite. Sort of off. But also it provides a view, especially depending on where you're camping. Blocks the image of our sort of equipment that's been left about, stranded everywhere, so... Yeah, so now we're making tomatoes, strawberries and all that. And do we need to do anything for this month? Yeah, and then we've got the harvesting of the field beans. But we've got time for that, we've got until bloody October. Actually, one thing we do need to do is I don't think I've exercised our horses today, have I? <laughs> no, I have not, so. What I'll do is. Well, not bash our horse into a slight piece of metal, first of all. E over we go. But yeah, let me quickly exercise these. And then we'll go into set the third week of September. I see if there's any more decent contracts popping up. I just want to do some contracts. Just again. Just get our money slightly up because I don't want to take out a loan that horse could be more in debt now as well, because obviously got things to lease out, got the headers and that, got the beta to lease out, so yeah. Let's go and see where we stand on next week. So we are in October, the first week of October, and it's time to harvest our field beans. And yeah, we're in debt, 1500 in debt, so ain't too bad. We've got an exception of contracts. Lime is done, 31,000. Actually, what? We'll set that to sell. 
Let's see how much money we get. Because actually, I should be better than we get offered, anyways. Because we have a look. Actually, two sets of canoe, One more month, and then we can sell the canoe. Get a few more hundred quid out of that. But if we go and look at the lime. So yeah, it says lime sell for twenty six hundred compared to sell everything container for six hundred quid or so. So theory as long as we get more than twenty five ish grand should be fine. Uh you know what? We should have just sold that manually. Yeah, so that's eighteen grand, so yeah, that was not... Well, you know what? We're out of debt now, at least. Oh, I guess that's one thing. But yeah, we could have got a bit more money in that couple of grand. Even if it was just one trip of, for lime. But anyways... So yeah, our horses are looking good. Their fitness is at 30%, so... A few more months. Yeah, so this time, next year, they should be fine. I'll sell them then, once they're fully fit. Cows are going, doing good. Once they're at TMR, we will just let that size run out and then we'll just top up with TMR as and when they need it. Wool pallet, because actually, what is wool selling for at the moment? And along with the strawberries and that. So, all good prices is around January time. You know what? That I can live with. Silage is December into January, 570. Peak at the moment is BG at 525 or Times Four Bells, 530. So we'll wait for that. But yeah, the wool. Oof, the prices are horrendous. Actually, you know what? Let's get some chickens in. We'll get some eggs and that. And we can make a little cheese sell in the new year, so... Now what, let's go and get those chickens. And I think the trigger left on for a reason is over here. So we can have 50 chickens. And you know what, we'll just go straight to... Yeah, you know what, heck it. That was cheap. And they need food, of course. So for the cows, 3,500 liters. So, again, check prices. Because we're going to be skipping these months ahead very quickly. So, sorry. 900 quid per 1,000 liters. So, don't think that's changed too much. We'll keep an eye on that. But yeah, even a little bit of money at the moment is needed, so we've got some contracts to do. Let's get back to what we was actually thinking about. So yeah, we've got 10 contracts for hay on 33. Think about leasing a tether, of course. Actually, if we have a look under tethers. So that is a 12 and a half meter one. Or, should we just go all out? Because I'm just at two grand. Not even too bad for a hundred horsepower requirement. And actually, could we borrow a cheap tractor and that for a little while? So, Izeki. Yeah, actually, what, what about this? Hmm. Four and a half grand. Unless we go something a bit more oomph. Maybe, just maybe. I guess it's a good way to try out new tractors as well for us. Forty-seven fifty-five, five grand, two grand an hour. Actually, what now? We'll just do it. 
We'll manage with this. So cultivating on field 81. Oh no, 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 no. Do not do that. So field work 81 here. Sorry, I'm saying start there. And just do that. So we're just going to do that. And we'll go ahead and start ploughing. Field 7. So actually that's down there by next to that massive grass field on field 6. Do you mean it's not that? And what I hear is cut across actually. He's got out of here anyways. Yes, yeah, so if we get onto that grass field. Don't think we can. But yeah, so anyways, let's head to field seven. Let's go the long way around. Alright, so technically we have to cut across a little bit because the actual way to get to this field is through like Soon Bridge Farms and that. So okay, my bad on that. And yeah, I was going to do a bunch of these contracts and that, so... Got 32 we can do as well. So, tall trees. Dang it, five down stores, not the same cell point. Got another cultivating contract, hopefully we can snap that before that disappears. That's 140. Oh yeah, it's not too far away from 81, so we can do that as well. Because, yeah, we're going to just do a, a bunch of these contracts and then, yeah, just get the income up a little bit. It should be fine for money anyways and that, but I don't know what the arrow fees is going to be for, like, debating and that. Because we need to do debating on straw, because I think we can get straw from Phil Beans. Unless I'm mistaken, that's why I haven't done it, because I think we can get straw from Phil Beans. Unless I'm getting that mixed up with Roy and that. If that's the case, then we've wasted some money on keeping that around. But anyways, we'll give that a shot. I think we'll start the harvest later on. Because currently the baiter, not the baiter, well, the baiter's at field 59. But the field beans, we'll start the harvest on the first field bean plot by the green mill. And then we'll go up to 45. Get that done, and then we we'll head back to the farm area and do that. So, the field size, the biggest amount we'll get is probably from the green mill area. Then 45, and then a little bit by the farm. Obviously, being like worth up to four grand for a thousand years. Probably that means we're gonna get a high yieldage from it. So that small trader should be enough. But if it ain't. That's fine, which was what we caught it to the silo. Put the silo and store it until January, not January, June. But so, yeah, we'll do a time lapse now. We'll do a few contracts and then we'll start doing the harvest to end of the episode.
And there we go, we're in the next week now, and that's because we lost the light. Yeah, sunset around 5, 6 p.m. Just made it difficult to see in that at that point, so I thought, you know what? We'll call it a night. If it was desperate, we'll work into the night, but we're not desperate at the moment. Happy to pay the fees and that. So yeah, I've got all the fields, tethered and wind roads. But now it's time to do the bathing. So if we go over here, get ourselves properly aligned up. There we go. Make sure the PTO and everything's all connected. PTO, yes. Pin hook, yes. And the cables are all good. Filthy as hell, but they're good. And I've already got 22% of grass in here, so I'm hopefully we can convert that into hay. Helps if you actually turn it on, perhaps, but yeah. Oh yeah, I got unfold the beta first of all, I thought we already did that. There we go. Yep, so you switch over to hay straight away. And yeah, we're gonna get a ton of bells from this. I think even with the extra capacity. I also got a tree down there as a purpose of stacking these. And what I'll try to do is put them onto the same trader at once. I know I'll go to two different cell points. I had different points on the map. It's gonna be a bit of a trek. Interestingly, we're not using the side edge additive. That's fine. I guess that's only purely for grass now. But oh well. And yeah, I do love this bader here and the similar variety, so. I think when we get the loan out over Christmas into January, I think the actual loan will be before the next planting season. Speaking of which, we too need to plant some crop. Because with those chickens, we did buy a 5,000 acre pallet. And I think, to be honest, we're going to have to buy a few of those to get us that over the winter and that. And into the next harvesting season which we're looking at towards July or August. I think if we plant it now, we may still be good for July. At least that's what I'm open for. Obviously you can't guarantee those things. All just depends on how the crop germinates and that. Of course, still a prep the field and that, so we've got to mulch it, cultivate it, and then put the seed in, roll it, and then if we can, put our first application of herbicide down as a preventive spray in. Also, I don't think if we have a quick look. Needs lime. Nope. And plowing. Oh yeah, fifth got fifth seventies plowing. And I'm pretty sure afterwards it would need lime. So part 57, of which got to plow, and then we we'll should be able to get away with. Well, mulch then plow, and then roll it also to create the seed beds. Oh, there's a patch here that we completely forgot for some reason. I thought we already did all this. I actually think we didn't do anything with the rowing. First of all, I thought it was just a patch, but nope. It's an entire section we didn't have time to do. Oh well, not a big issue for us. Do we have to eat fruit down here? I don't think so. I think that's like the farm. Because we did do one more contract as well. Plowing on 61, like the plowing and cultivating contracts. We'll snag those up where we can. That's the 
field next to us, that's a small field. What about B then? Ooh, some decent contracts. Different cell points, different places on the map. 64 and that. You know what, heck it, we'll do 24. We'll do that at some point, but I'm going to rush to get this done. Uh, yeah, just enjoy sitting in the cab and get all this bailing done. But obviously, that's only if it feels like off camera and that, but unfortunately, no. Uh, it's just as well as things in cab, don't really see much going on around. Miles outside the cab, you get a full view, so we'll quickly unload these bells here. And that's four, five bells we're already got over on this field. And anything extra will go into the next field, of course, so I'm not too worried about that. If you don't get the perfect amount. Always change up on the capacities and that, but I don't think that's really needed here. But yeah, so anyways, we'll get this finished off. I'll quickly win the road act because I completely forgot about that, of course. And then um, we'll see you at the cell point. Bailing done, we've got exactly 18 bells, so got nine for one and nine for the other field. So both of these will go in, so we'll do the first one. Should be careful not to sell both of them here. There we go. Oh no, wrong trigger. That's that one over there, my bad. But yeah, so we'll put nine in this one, nine in the other. Price is only one pound per litre difference, so I'm not too fussed. There we go. So we've got ten grand for that, and uh, we should get a similar amount for the other fields. Let's have a few. Could we just navigate around on the left? There we go, we can. So, yep, yeah, complete that. That's 11 grand. 
and on to the next cell point. And now it's time to sell these uh, spells, so we should get about 10,100. Similar from before, so yeah, see. Well, not quite. Only 7,000 for that one. Only anyway, what, that's fine. So we'll complete that one. So that's got to go to Pine Creek Bells. So does 130. So we accept that one. And any more want to go to Pine Creek? Nope. Not by the looks of it. Town Sore for that one. There are size contracts, those ones, 23 and 26. I think you know what, we accept this one as well. 64. Obviously for the Pine Creek one, 130 and 24 is quite far apart. Obviously we're not going to do that now. We may do it in between episodes or at the start of the next episode. But now what we need to do is head to the Grey Mill, where we've got our field being filled over there, and start harvesting. Because first of all, I want to see was it worth keeping that beta around. Because if you get sure from these field beans, then that will be absolutely helpful. Yeah, and then we've already got three millimeters of storage that we're gonna sell. And in fairness, most spells we've got we may end up selling anyways. Anyway, so okay, the combines over there and over there. But yeah, absolutely loving the Massey. We should have other beacons on. We'll park the trader over here. There we go. And I think this part is up. And get that connected and move that way so it doesn't interfere with the header. There we go. So park here. Keys off. Now let's hop into the combine. Make sure it's unfolded. And Strauss Wolf is turned on. Maybe it's a tire or something, but anyways, let's get it hooked on. There we go. Yeah, I think we should have done that. Oops. There we go, just park it up. Set a control speed. Well, alright. Slightly raise this. There we go. And now we're harvesting. Stroll. Oh great. No we don't. So all that time of keeping out that bather. We didn't need to. Oh well. That is what it is. quite a dusty field and there are some patches over here that is slightly weeded but shouldn't be too bad oh man just look at that dust there we go just going on just sensible speed but yeah so far so good and yeah as expected with the high sell price. Ain't gonna yield as much balls yet yeah, because of the sell price of I think forty one hundred per thousand a year so 
think that will be helpful to use this difference, but anyways, that is where I'm going to leave it today, so next time, it's all out beans, we'll give it all the beans and all the other bean puns. Once we get this harvest completed, the final harvest of the year, and then we start looking towards the baying of the straw. And then I think pretty much it's nothing until we start sending stuff in November. Also got our pallets off that is and all that good stuff in the greenhouse. They need to be sold in January, so the next couple of episodes is gonna be interesting. And I'll definitely set out for where we stand in the next year. Oh yeah, also can't forget all these plant winter barley or winter wheat. Hello folks and welcome back to Court Farm. Here we are once again doing some contract work. So what we've gone and done is if we go over here we are completing these contracts so 24 and 130 that's these bells here needs to go into this sub point here and then these last three need to go to, well that's six, need to go to the town store, so we'll do that. Unstrap them. There we go. And how much we'll get from that? Ooh, not too bad, 16 grand in bells. Don't mind if I do. Uh, I'm trying to quit though, because there are anything. Farmer's Market Bells. Actually, we really should have kept some of these bells. Actually, that's what I was planning on doing, anyways. Well, completely forgot about that, so. Oops, my bad. Well, we'll do some more 10 contracts. We'll do 106 and 131. See so, you yeah, next time, we'll make sure we don't sell those, because we don't really need the money at the moment. I've driven three grand now, so you know what? It's a little bit of a bonus. So I'm thinking this next one will take at least two bells, maybe three. So if we put that there for now. Shove that forward. There we go. Strap it down. And then strap these on. If we can, we'll keep these bells. Because that's what if you need is hay. Hay to make TMR. Also, we still have some TMR bells at the moment. But yeah, just not as much I think we need. But then again, I can be completely wrong on that. So, the worker to go to there. Yes, please. And now. We will resume where we end off in that episode off to the harvesting. So it's time to start doing the final harvest. So we got again just to recap. We're doing this field here. That was our very first field we done on this series. It was a grass field. Now it's field beans. Next, I think we'll take the combine up. I'll do 45. And then to round off, we'll come back to the farm and do this one here or actually no we'll do this one go to the farm and do that and then we'll head up and do 45 so currently we've got 6,000 litres of field beans of course they're going to be the most yielding in that which is expected because obviously you're going to get about 4 grand is it 4 grand or so per thousand litres just to remind ourselves. We go down here. Have a little looky loo. Fill beans. Yonder for a thousand a year, so not too bad actually. I'll say probably if I'd guess if we do this field here. I'll say about 40, 50,000 years of field beans we'll get from this. Could be wrong on that, but who knows. That's my estimate. Yeah, for some reason, say frame rate is a bit choppy. We should lower that. Three 
trees up. So it actually looks like we're harvested properly. But yeah, the header, this here, has been really useful to us. Like, first of all, we spent, what, 10 grand in lease and fees or something like that? For 60 grand header, and what? Well, I think we'll do that again for the next year and that. Obviously, we're planning on doing a bit of expansion now. Get a loan in. Because we need about roughly a million quid for our expansion plans. And a lot of that's going to come from a loan. But then, most of that will be paid off within the year. Obviously, when we come to sell stuff, we've got our silage to sell in the winter. So, we're going to get one final cut off silage in November. So we'll do that. What do we do hay? You know what? Nah, I think... Should we fight for tea more for now for over winter? Until... We get our first cut in the new year, which will be April. Yeah, we'll say scenario, we'll just buy some bells and that. Obviously, primarily the hay bells are for cows. Even though there's no grass growing over winter, adding to new year, that doesn't mean we can't cut any, we're getting any cut in that over winter now, we still cut them, just really depends on, let's do that there, so this water is going a bit faster, maybe we lost a bit of yieldish there, what was I saying, ah, oh, I can't remember, Anyways, we'll get this unloaded. And we'll go to you. Because, yes, yeah, so if we can keep some of these bells, then um, that'd be useful. Or if we just sell a partial of the third bell. But who knows? Let's just see what we do here. So. Tipped. Bell cell point is right at the end over here. So let's go and sell these two. And will they suffice for the contract? No. We really need at least one more bell. And then maybe a fourth. That's 88%. I see. Dang it. I wasn't quick enough. Well, we've still got two bells for ourselves now. And that's no small feat, 32,000 litres. And actually, we can just whack one of those bells from the sheep. And then say we're good with it. So, the contract. Let's go and complete that. So we're doing 106 and 131. 106 is by the farming app, conveniently enough. And 131 is up north, so... Do a cotton contract on 42, where is that? And next to 53, where our farm is, so... Could do that and borrow the equipment. Sugar beet, corn. So, where are these bells going? To the garden centre. Got to do 63. Or 102. Fair enough. Anyone in particular wanted to use by the BGA. 63. Actually, well, I think 63 would be better. Because, yeah, that's size bells. So, you know what? We'll say, yeah, accept that contract. And this side, we'll make sure we keep those bells. So, if I say. I think 
somewhere. Where's our mower set to? Ah, just a wee HP when that was, so... They're all up here. Oh, funny enough, we're already at 131, so you know what? We'll do 131, 63. Since our lot of the equipment's already over there. And we're borrowing this at the moment, aren't we? So, yeah, we're borrowing that. We've got to pay to lease some fee on that still. Which is. What? Well, yeah, grand per week, so. I'll say go there as well. And I shall think here, we're going to have this while we for this month. And then into next month, so. Let's go and. I should have a look in the used market a sec. I'm tempted by that. Get another cheap old big tractor. 27 hours. That's an 8700, which. What's more we got? Oh, that's an 8S edition. So. Some possibilities there. Oh, these in vehicle costs. Okay, that's a header. And that I think we will return. No, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna do a size contract. So I'm still got the bigger than that. So yeah, and what? We'll go to what we were saying. Transfer money. I will pay two grand to the dealership. So that's for today or this week. And then actually what? Let's have another grand. Then you know what? We got access to that till the end of the month. That's three grand for three weeks of decent. Of course, we're not going to be constantly using it, it's just having that privilege of access. That's what we're paying for. We're not paying to have it 24 7. We can access it 24 7. Got a set of keys for it, so. Anyways, we will finish this harvest. Let's go and get this done. It's going to take us a while to do that. And I think, in fairness, that will take us until the end of the day because we're going to lose sunlight within the next two to three hours, so. We should be done by then. But it's gonna be a bit of work. So yeah. As always, I'll get it done.
we go. Oh, worker stopped. Maybe it looks like it's because of traffic with the combine. As we're getting that back to the farm. So yeah, we're done with the harvesting for the year. And we got more than I thought. So we got at least two full tray loads. And I think it was a half load as well from the field by the farm. And the combine still got another thousand litres left. So once we get this emptied, we'll quickly put that thousand litres in there. And then we will assess how much we've got. As we're starting to lose the daylight now. Actually, put that back down there whilst I was just looking at a few things. Oh, let's overtake the combine. Beep beep. There we go. But yeah, that was a good harvest, and we're definitely going to make more than the 50,000 litres. I think maybe like close to 60 than 50, so even if it was 50,000 litres, we're still looking at over almost 220 grand, doing a quick math in my head on that. So let's go see actually how much we've got in total. So. Head back in as we're starting to lose the light now. And also got a bunch of pallets we need to start moving, so we'll deal with those. Maybe chins out of the way. So yeah, let's go and have a look. So just pull into here. And also I want to look at those bells like the sizes. So as that's going in, there are six and a half thousand of your bells, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's sixty five sixty five thousand liters of hay. Oh, yeah, just had to readjust it. I think we actually clipped the shed. That's thing as well. We could put bells in here. Got stuck there. See, so, yeah, that's done. 58,615 litres. That is... Ooh, a lot. I've still got another 1,000 litres, so... Just shy of 60,000 litres, so... That is... Over 240... Over 260 grand, almost. So yeah, that is not a bad hole for us. A quarter of a million pound harvest, that was. But also we got things like our linseed. That'll be time to sell in December. And we'll get... Yeah, I can't do the math in my head. On that one, but also... Got canola. Well, I've got straw swell. That's going to be interesting to sell. Currently, 129. But we can go to 147. So, if we get around 150 for a thousand litres. I would like that. Eggs, if we get any eggs, we will sell those, but I'm not sure. Wool, we've got at least one pallet. But at the moment, it is at its worst price possible at the moment. So, I ain't gonna be until April. And then our canola. Just one more month, 1300, so we're almost there with that. And that's gonna be over 220 grand, I think. No, not even close on that. Four, eight, yeah, something like 150 grand. But yeah, so now what we need to do is to fill prep. I need to get the auger out. Oh, looks like I have to unfold the combine to get the auger out. There we go. So yeah, 200 pound in wages, not an issue. Also, we did send another three grand over because I forgot about the Lamborghini. 
But we've got leased out as well from the dealership. But yeah, we still we do need to start using like the dealership's equipment. But that's been what might come in now. So yeah, we should get some decent stuff. Definitely looking at getting at least one new tractor. I am half tempted by the case or the eight seven hundreds. Well, what was that for? Ah, the tether, right, fair enough. That makes sense. So yeah, let's see what the final tally is. And then we'll have a quick check on the animals before we go into next week. So yeah, 59,690 litres. And before we get rested for the night, sheep all good, chickens good with food, cows are still good where that's gonna last a while if we can furnace. We've got a lot of food in there. Horses, oh do need to ride them, so let's quickly do that. Horses But also, we do need some lights around the farm, like, when we're working at night. Oops. The horse there. Actually, you know what? Let's put some lights in, so... If we go to decorations, lights... Like, do we want these ones? So if I say put that one, where do we want it? Something like there. Yeah, because we need to... Oh. And how far was the then? Apparently it's not turned on yet, so bear with me a sec. Oh no, this is the go forward a little bit in time and then that works so fair enough on that go with the automatic ones I think so got one light there I think we need one here there we go just to light up the farming app One there, one there. I think one more here. One down there. Obviously, you've got to be mindful of the campers and that, so I don't want to disturb them too much. But at least one more here. Maybe actually have a 180 one, so not. Shining into the campsite. And speaking of which, I'll put one more down here. So, there we go. I think, really, that's it. One more <laughs> there. And that is the farm, pretty much. Whack one here. And you know what? Fuck it. One more there. And one more just over here. So yeah, that was a bit of money spent on lighting. But something that is worth it, especially now as we head into winter, we're going to be working the night. So yeah, I'll get some rest. And I'll see you folks in the morning. And there we are, we've got the bell being done. And yeah, sell some of these bells. Obviously not all of them. So I do want to keep some of them, so let's see what we can do here. There we go, 
just pull out right there. Yeah, there we go. That is all of the contracts completed. And a little bonus of 1200 quid, so. Let's go and complete these contracts. So now we're back up to 112, where we were early on in the episode after spending all that money on those lights. And I would set up some more contracts we can do in between episodes and that. So, Farmer Market Bells for 70, Point Creek Bells for 31. Town sword bells. Any other ones? Town sword bells, town sword bells. And there are hay contracts, not size ones, those ones. Folly down bells. Folly down. You know what heck it is? Do Except that one. Not that one. Just have a look. And that's all. That one is hay, not silage. So. Farmer's market. And what heck is except 68 and 69. So those so three fields down there, and we're left with 170,000 litres of hay for ourselves, so that's going to be enough bells for a while actually, I think. Yeah, when we do the next cut of grass in November, I don't think we need hay. I was tempted to do hay in that, but you know what? That could be silage. That does mean though we have to empty one of the clamps and... That's going to be a big job in, in itself. But yeah, we'll do that in November. Yeah, heck yeah, let's do that in November. And for now, we will return that. Don't occur any more fees on that. But yeah, 112 grand. Is there any other fields we can purchase? Maybe a grass field, that's 193. Ooh. Maybe we'll have the money after we do those size contracts. Because if we get that one, then we say that could be our grass field permanently. And then we can convert these fields over because we do need wheat in that. So, wheat, we can plant that. Wheat, barley, or even oats actually don't, don't need anything in particular, just actually not oats, that's for the horses, so wheat or barley, and actually we do need oats because we do need feed for the horses, even though they don't consume too much. What's 51? Speaking of small fields, maybe 40, 56, that would be a good oat field. Yeah, because I'm thinking if we do oats there, we need to move the bells from that. So yeah, some work to do. But yeah, I'm going to think about this as we head back to the farm. And then yeah, we'll pretty much do a jump cut and then we'll discuss what the plan is. And there we go, so... Yeah, let's go and park this over here a sec. Might well apply another grand, because on the way back, find one more collectible. Well, obviously, there's only one grand and not 101, so... And that was one of the cow ones, cow collectibles, and... We need to find one more of those... In order to... Get the full amount of 100 grand. There we go. Yes, I think if we stack these over here, 
can do spells over there that can be used as for chickens, not for chickens, for like the horses and sheep. And then these ones can be used as TMR. But yeah, like instantly we have triples almost how much hay we've got. So yeah, three stacks, that would do it. Just move that over there. But yeah, I think the plan would be now is with the fields, because I did have a look. I did think about oats. Fortunately, there is a oat field here at 58 and that's been weeded and everything and it's 98% yield bonus so it's a 2% for mold chin so you know what also if that's going to be our oat, oat field it's going to be enough for the chickens and that's pure or for the uh what's it horses chickens they don't need too much to feed but I still think you can, we say, do, actually, what is that one there? Is that barley? Oh, actually, if we buy 52, that'd be barley. So, barley and oats, that's already done. And then I'm thinking 54, 107, 106, and at least this one here could be fill beans then as we move up I'm thinking I'm asking, do we need anything else I do want pigs and that so things like corn soybeans and sorghum I think they need I need to double check on the recipe for that sec so yeah I'm thinking let's say one would be soybeans let's say this one here that could be corn and sorghum. I think I ain't planted until the next year, right? If I'm correct. Yeah, not until April, so get one more field for sorghum. And again I'm looking at forty five and forty six. If we do that. Yes. That could be our sorghum field. So if we do the math, let's add everything up. So by that, that is 60 grand. I think, you know what? Heck, let's buy that one now. Since we've got the money. So yeah, buy that one. 200, 310 grand. 405 grand. And this one here, 530 grand. Also, do need any more fields? Try to think. Maybe you can buy some more fields. Cause I'm thinking, you know, heck yes, do something like alfalfa in the new year. We can do that. Also, could do rye because rye was actually pretty decent in yielding, and do get a straw as well. So. Maybe another field for straw. So we're looking towards down here. Maybe. Yeah, maybe that. So. That'd be additional. 72. 76. 100, 156 grand. And about 330 grand additionally. So that's about. 800-ish grand, eight, yeah, eight, nine hundred grand, so I think that makes the most sense for us, but again, our car's on the loan. I forget that million pound loan. I think we'll be setting pretty much good for the rest of the series. Oops. Last thing, how long is this series going to go for? I don't know, I know... I know like Dagwin that's planning on not doing like ending the series sooner. Just because yeah I get it. It's a flood market like court farms and let's play series on YouTube. Do get that.
but I'm personally still loving the map and there's too much more to explore and do things like getting new plant plots of land starting to add some productions not I'm not going to go overboard with productions I think yeah the recent episode on Numa Sand is sort of slightly traumatizing, traumatizing on that off going over top there we go that's those put away because yeah there is some production I know there's the green mill here and then what the bakery down here as well so maybe we get those oh that's the campsite there we go and have a look how much is it be for this so uh, 121 grand for the green mill an additional I think it was like 50 or something grand for the bakery 170 180 grand and I do love the details on that I think I didn't even know is it custom and that? Actually, well, I'm going to do something a bit cheeky a sec. So I do want to have a look. So get a cheeky five grand loan in. I also want to have a look if it's... Is it the same as a normal bakery or is it additional stuff? And that's uh, just... Yeah, it was bread and cake, so and that should also reminds me we do need sugar, so a sugar be filled as well. Alright, okay, we've got that. That wasn't intentional, but that's gonna be something we're gonna have in the long term, so you know what? Heck yeah, let's buy it in the hell. Can't reset it. Well we can if we do should know we can do that. I thought we could sell it, but nope, guess not. Makes sense, but at least flour, so we need a lot of grain as well, so yeah, there's that as well. They may so we do need to do some work, like fertilize these fields and that, so that needs fertilizing. And this needs a, another application of fertilizer, so the case. Done that there for now. And let's go and grab the fertilizer spreader. If I didn't crash into anything, that would help. There we go, got the uh, fertilizer spreader on. Technically, we can fertilize this now. Put a cheap application of fertilizer on now. But we won't because, again, that's not really you would do it. You would do it not in the state like that. So, so I think what you would do normally is obviously mulch. Yeah, you got to mulch it. Then cultivate it up because we don't have a direct drill on the cedar, so we do need to do that. And the sugar beets, just having a quick look. Planting is in March. March for that, then April is sort of the corn and soybeans. And yeah, we could do winter wheat, barley and that. Bozzy got the barley and oat situation sorted. I think we'll do a wheat field in that. And yeah again we'll figure all that out in November. But whilst we're still in October we've still got a bit of work to do on pretty much everything around here. So yeah let's get all the fertilizing done and then that's where I think we'll end it today I think.
And there we go. So we have been busy, done the fertilizing, and we've done the silage bells. So we have a little refresh ourselves. So most of these are going down to what about I should know five dance bells. So this is this one here. So let's go and put one in. That is 89%. So really, they'll need three bells. Not a problem. If we can, we'll try to snatch it away. There we go. Got some money, some of that bell back. But you, we'll put that back down. And I think we can drive over this because they need to consume it. What's this strap down? Nope, that is good. And now all we need to go to the farmer's market, which is just not too far away actually, just along this road, cross the bridge, and then Bob's your uncle, we are there. And just like that, with the power of editing, we are here, so the bell cell point is this one here. Let's see how much money we make from this. There we go. Ooh, significant amount of money. 45 grand for that, so we are at 49 grand. Make that 71. Minus that G5 grand loan we did, hurry on just for the bakery, was there or something? And overall, we're left with 66,660 quid. A lot of sixes in that. Imagine if I was another six quid, it'd be Mark of the Beast almost. But. Anywho, I should just drive away from here because here the animal deer ship going off. But yeah, once again, we are losing light, so. I think what we'll do is. Can accept some contracts to do on site. Obviously, no hay contracts because we turned down the wrapper and that on oh, no, the tether. So, fly down Long Meadow, Town Sword Bells. Uh, I guess the, all these are. Yep, these are all the contracts we're potentially missing out. We still may take the decision to, uh, what's it, <laughs> do those contracts, at least to tether out again, but for now, I'm not too sure. Uh, just out of curiosity, how could can we do the rolling here? Seven ish miles an hour on mulching at the moment. I think it's like the top speed of it is like 10 or 11. 9. So I actually ain't too far off. And that, of course, being on flat land, this does need a service. And I am aware of this skin up there in the hours. But for now, it's fine. It's not costing us too much. Does that make any difference? I was just a curiosity whilst I had whilst I was over here now I thought whilst we see the contracts have a little test because you didn't have the money to service it because we had to pay the leasing fee for the beater. But yeah, manages it fine at seven, eight miles an hour. I consider the fact that's a three hundred horsepower requirement. And that is 235 horsepower, so yeah, actually not too bad at all. All things being considered, so next time, what we got to do is a lot of field prep. We're already taking care of the horses. We do need to move some of these out of the way, so we're going to do that. Let's just move everything down over here for now. Like, supersonic speed air. 
But yeah, a lot of these will sell in like December or I think December or January is best. Definitely between November and well, wait. November and January is the best price for these, so yeah, we'll have a look at that option actually. Have a quick look now. Best price would be actually no, uh, towards February. So yep, yeah, we're gonna have those for a while. Hopefully, you don't hit any pad limits. I doubt we will, but who knows? Hello, folks, and welcome back to Court Farm. Here we are, and we've got a lot of work to do. Let's turn the time back up to times three. So yeah, we've been busy. We've been finishing off the contract work for these size contracts. Along with that, we've done one cotton harvest contract and one sugar beet. That's why the money is up as it is. So yeah, we got a bit of work to do. Um, we do need to go this way. We need to go the other way to head to the other fields. Also, actually, was right here. We'll put the combine away. Just lift that there. Actually, you know what? I think it's time we actually start taking care of our equipment. So, since this is done for the year, we will put a jet washer down. There we go. Whack one just somewhere there. Along with another toolbox. So yeah, plan for today is bells. We need to get that straw bells. Along with that, we need to start prepping the fields for next year. For things like the wheat and barley. Actually, not the barley, because we're... There we go. But yeah, so the plan is, obviously... Six and one is seven. Along with that little area by the farm, that is going to be a field beans. And I'm thinking for like 57, 59, and 109, we can do wheat because obviously we need grain coming in. I should have maybe. Yeah, I should have what? Do that. 109, 59, 57 be wheat. 52, which we'll buy, would be barley, which is currently in. Along with 53 and 56, it could be barley fields. 58 is oats, we're going to buy. And for 45, I'm thinking something like rye. So that's going to be planned in the new year. I realize a slight change is because we're going to do pig food and we need to wheat and barley. Been looking around at some productions for pig food and that, and I find a very useful one here the lizard bitten, only three grand. Bear in mind, it doesn't take much wheat and barley, it takes like a very small amount. I don't know where we're getting random levitation. Actually, if we just temporarily place that, that's not going to be a permanent solution. We'll set it after it's three grand. But just demonstrate, so for this we can do all sorts of pig foods, wheat, soybeans, canola, oats and corn. I think when we get the oats, we also use the wheat and barley, along with the oats, to get pig foods. And they do require a very small amount. Tempted to do uh, it just depends on where we stand after we get the loan in. Because obviously it's going to be a mini pound loan. But we do need at least one more tractor. And some other bits, so... I should wash right here. Give this a quick wash. Get rid of that help menu. So yeah, a lot of it, we need to start prepping the fields now, because I'll show the weather forecast in a sec. Don't know why I'm watching this now, since we are going to be back in the field, but 
Well, you know, just a little bit of work would do no harm. So if we go and repair, repair. There we go. Walk that over there. Yeah, because if we look at the weather forecast for the next month, it is rain. Don't know how much, and it's going to be heavy rain, so... Because we need to get the mowing done, and if we're going to be soft and starting with the mowing and that, then... We need to start diversify of what we do around here. And does this field... No, it's not this field, it's... No, it's 57, right? I think it's 57, the big field. If we have a look... Ah, uh, it is this field, so... We'll start doing this field. Also, baking in these sorting out, so... I should put that there for a sec. And we've already got these shore bells here. And one thing we did, which I didn't mention, was we did have like three normal bells, or your typical base game bells. And we did get rid of those, and we earned a couple of grand for that. But yeah, currently we've got 198,000 litres of bells. And so I've always been thinking like, we've got hay bells, we got shrew bells. Let's get some sludge bells in. Why not? So when we do our next cut in November, which will be in the next episode. Yeah, I'm thinking, why not? Just get put over there. Uh, is there any more bells? I think there's two more bells in the field. None over there, none down there, just this one here, so yeah. But we've got still baiting on 59 and 109 to do. So we go and do that. This. Pop you on there. Shrap it all down. Actually, we've still got the baiter on these. We're paying that ourselves, so. We'll cut through here. There ain't much straw on this side, that's because what we've been doing as well is just padding out the size bells and that, where we've been doing these contracts, just to get that extra bell in. Well, hey, what they don't know won't harm. Yeah, a bit of a sneaky tactic as a contractor, but needs must sometimes. leave that there. I'll start doing the plowing. I think we do a couple of headlands, start the work on it, and then we can come back and start doing the bathing. Yeah, I think in fairness of everything we're planning, we've got ourselves pretty, up pretty good here. Things like the greenhouses are doing well. Tempted to expand on that in the next next year now but again a lot of that comes down to land of what, what land in addition we'll buy really depends on what equipment we can get in as well so yeah the loan will be taken out in the next episode we may still go into November in this episode but especially with the daylight now we're going to be losing so but yeah, it's almost time to sell the straw net and other things, but I think a lot of that is January in that time. But one thing we're going to be selling later on is the canola. That is starting to peak in price and will peak sometime within the next month. But I'm half tempted just to get it done out of the way in the first week of November. As long as the price is close to its absolute peak. Babies, we'll get it done, and I'll see you folks in a few moments.
just like that, we are done. So the worker is almost done with drop picking. And we're pretty much complete with the plowing. I'll say that was a nice little task overall, didn't take us too long. We already got a full load into the rock crusher. And we're making some lime. We turn that off temporarily. And this time we will sell the lime ourselves, not do it via well what you call it via the sell of the well within the production plant, so oof. That was a bit of a bump in her did not realise. But yeah, with what we're saying about the fields, it does make sense and it is a good plan altogether. Yeah, because I think it was it that's why we said like overall the cost of the fields would be like 800 grand, so if we could get extra money in from the contracts and that, then we could about just afford a new tractor or two. So one thinking is another large is between 200 and 300 horsepower tractor, and then like a small tractor, like say a John Deere 6M, or she might be under mediums, but it's got a small base. Ooh, tempted by some of these. Ooh, that's way expensive for. for Maybe a 6300. Small, compact. Got options for front weight. Go up to 105. Got a front loader option. But there was one that we were using for a contract. And actually looked quite nice. So actually maybe a base scheme one. Oh, maybe something like this as our next big tractor purchase. Go up to three fifty. But yeah, even that three hundred horsepower for two hundred grand. Oh, nice beacons. What's a knob spinner? Can't tell. Ah, I find it. Ah, yes, yeah, the steering wheel. So you can have that knob on the steering wheel. Ooh, can I should proper kit this out. Have a front loader option. Ooh, and a variety of colours. Now that would be very nice. Something like that McCormick. It's something different, a brand I haven't reused. But yeah, the tractor I was on about. Was it something like this? Yeah, it was like 7810 or something. And which ones do we have up here? Go with 75s, but you yeah, know, something like that. Okay, so not a small horsepower tractor, but still 225. And with front loader, it does have the option for hydraulics. Yeah, something like that, perhaps. Or, yeah, actually, no, that's even better. 261, but it's not as compact, so. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe we go with the McCormagaries. But, anyways, let's get the rest of this being done because this has been here for a while. Fair enough, we should have done it pretty much straight away from harvest, but. Unfortunately, we didn't let that happen. I 
I do love this John Deere here, it's pretty nice. Let's see if the dealership will let us take this off of them. But then again, that goes into the hole, it's a used tractor in there. Um, I did it all something brand new, but 13 hours on this ain't too bad. It's got track, so it's slightly elevated. Or is it elevated? I'm not too sure actually thinking about it. Well, at least I think it's elevated. There's something missing out these bits. Like in cab, it's actually quite easy to focus on you know, getting everything perfect. Just the corners can be a bit iffy at times. And I should have that corner pretty well. If I had to guess how many bells we would get, no idea, maybe... If we empty what we've got in now... Almost two bells. From that, I'll say three, four, five. I'll say ten bells we'll get from this. Ten, maybe eleven. Out of push. That's not good. My driving this, but yeah, that's always up to question that the best times to be my driving. But anyways, I think let's do one more time lapse. Get us all done. And then if we lose daylight, then we'll see you folks in the morning. If not, we'll see you before then. just like that we are done so once again we'll put the last bit of stones from the field in but also we've been having a look and I've noticed our fields are peppered with stones so we need to take care of that so 50, 59 and 29 will be rock picked I think 58 has already got the wheat or the crop in right the oats so yeah that's got crop in already what about these two what it seems like so oof. pretty hefty I would say you know what we'll buy that filled now 46 so all that's left left to do is buy 52 53 55 and 58 at least for now maybe by 60 if you want to expand so we can always expand upwards well, i am looking at like 88 how much is that oh 320 452 210 that's got a ton of stones in to remove and i think that's what we would do actually I think 
Yeah, buyers fields, and once they haven't got crop in, then we'll. It does involve plowing, so I don't think we can just rock pick them straight up, right? As you can check now, 56 is here. If we can rock pick them now, then you know what that saves us doing the plowing? I'm pretty sure. I know we can rock pick loose now. That's good to see. It's not. That's all I can work on now. We do need to plow this up though. There's no way of getting away with that. So what we do is park that over here. Because now we need to deal with the bells. So how many bells do we get in the end? In this field we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So maybe a couple under but I'd rather be under than over and in the other field how many bells would we get so I did say about 10 11 so six in there seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so I said about 10 11 or 12 so not too far off, but considering the sizes of these bells, yeah, it's pretty hard to be wildly off. But yeah, and we'll get them put away. So that is another, what, 160? 192? 198? 208,000 litres off straw bells, so... I think, in fairness, we'll have to sell some of these, because I don't think... I don't need all this straw actually, but we'll do it on, we'll put it away in storage and that. At the very least. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'll finish this off, quick get this done, and then we'll skip till the morning. doing the rock picking because what we've done is by mistake obviously this was meant to be rock picked however these fields should have been mulched and we forgot to mulch them so oops my pad on that so if we have a look yeah none of these has been mulched so dang it we should have mulched them first then do the rock picking that was a mistake on my part, we can't do it now since it's a cultivated state. But what we've got and done is got the mulcher up here, we're going to mulch 45. And we'll get our remedied. So yeah, money's gone down a bit, and that's because one, we placed a small liquid tank to store the liquid fertilizer. Don't to leave it in the bowser all the time. Also, we got ourselves a little water fill point. Gun drill down and pretty much plumbed in to the pond over there, I think, or at least the groundwater. I'm not sure where the 
exactly got the water source from. But anywho, it's time to sell. And also we've got stones to sell. Not stones, lime. And actually quite a bit of lime, because from all those fields we did rock pick from, we got 51,000 litres of lime. And at the moment, best place to sell lime. We have a little look. be more money sent directly to the sell point rather than sell and sell I get an average price so that's why we've gone like that but yeah also spent more than doing a harvesting contract the fairies we didn't restart until what about half nine or so because that's the thing now we're in winter the days are going to get shorter like for this month we'll be working from we have workable light conditions from about 10 to around about 3 4 pm, about yeah, 5 6 hours of working daylight. But thankfully, we don't really have much to do apart from seeding now on most of those fields. Also, got the grass fields, but we don't need to do much on that because we're doing field beans on that and they need to be sorted and planted until the next year. Yeah, we're going to go to the value view stores, that is the best price to sell Canoodle. And dang it, we've gone past it, so... Anyway, so have a quick look as I've been sort of rambling on. Canoodle... Yeah, 35888. However, we can get 3665 from the value view source, so we go and set it to there. Let's have a look, yep that's the best price. See how much we get from our first product on the farm, so should be pretty decent money. Put the brakes on please, there we go. And look at that money rocket up. Nice, that is 151 grand. So a bit more actually than we expected. And all we need to do now is sell the line quickly. So yeah, do a quick time lapse, get it loaded up, get it sold. And then that's where I think we'll leave it for today. Three grand for that, so yeah, not bad. Especially just it's simply a byproduct of farming work. So, oh, dang it! Ah, I hit that. I was like, sorry, what did I hit? Oh, yeah, the post. That makes sense. So, <coughs> so yeah, with our first set of sales, we're in decent money, and still got more stuff to sell. So, if we have a look. Got the straw to sell, that will be in December 147, currently 137, so in fairness we can set it now even. And I think we've got the field beans. Got a bit of manure in that, yeah, four grand, not a lot at the moment. I may, yeah, I may still sell everything next month. To see what we get at the end of it, but then seed that's going to peak around December at 12.48. Actually, we can do sell them now, sell them to the garden center. Yeah, 12.36, 12.48. So 
I think we'll look into that in the next episode. But also, Phil Beans ain't going to be ready till June because at the moment, two grand. Wait a little bit longer, I will double that. So, we'll wait on that. There's nothing else there. Also, I think December, of course, it knows February. Yeah, January, February is where we sell our greenhouse products. 3,300. And I'm over very touching three grand, so a few pallets here and there off. But I very much doubt we'll hit that within the next two months. And we've got to do the mowing. But we will sell other silage from one of the bunker silos in the next episode. Just to make room for the silage. And we're going to be putting in from the fields again. One last time for the year to get the final cut in. Hello folks and welcome back to Court Farm. Here we are, just about to finish a contract that I was meant to do in the last episode, but completely forgot everything. It's a cotton harvest contract, so we'll do that. Tidy 4.4k. An additional two grand for the contract, minus 200 for the leasing of equipment. You know what? That is fine by me. So we've still got some 10 contracts we can do. We've got the baiting contract to do, and in the last episode, I did say we were going to sell the silage and empty the clamp, but no, because I remembered actually now we're going to bait it. Because if we bait it now, it'll be just in time ready for when we sell it in December. Because, again, just a remind, silage is at its best price in December and January. 570 is the best price, currently we're getting about 550, so. Really, we can sell it, but we're gonna wait. So, also, we'll start off with send the in seeds because, yeah, maybe we can get a bit more money from the in seeds. But there's one sell point in particular which is very close to the average and maximum price. So, 1248, so let's say 1250, we could get we can get 1 to 18. 1218 at town source so say deliver town source no looping and that should be on its way and town stores is is it one of these up here oh no no it's down near ain't it town source yep town source so this is just down the road for us and we'll take the small load as well and again, it's going to be extra money income for us. And actually, I think this will be just enough. Oh, I hate when workers do these on these. And that's the only problem about them leaving the yard. It's just go a bit wider. It's not that hard. Bear with me a sec. There we go. Let's cut that car up. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, we sell the in seeds. And with the money, we should be able to buy some more fields. Because I want to buy 53, 52, and 55, and 58. That's the minimum we initially aimed for before the loan. We're actually making so much money from this, we may not need that big of a loan. But I'm going to purchase 55, that's a grass field. Because again, we can get a quick cut off size from that. So down here for a worker. But yeah, we should make quite a bit of money from this. And actually, if we say we could buy, can't quite buy that one, but we could buy the grass fields. So you know what, we're going to buy that, so all we need now is 400 grand, 625 grand, and we're going to get 100, about 120-ish from the lint seat. Also we've got the short sell, when we sell that at its absolute peak price of around 150 per thousand. We should, because we've got, we've got 3.1 million of these short. 
about, say, ooh, how much? 300 grand. Yeah, about 450 grand for that. But we're still going to take out a loan because I do want to get some equipment coming in. And that will be covered by when we sell the linseed, or not linseed fill beans, in June of next year. Actually, I've never. I should know, this would be an easy supplement for the worker. Yeah, it'll be interesting how they function. Where are they going? Ah, they're reversing. Well, not too bad on an idea. So we saw the first load. That's four and a half grand. The worker had it perfectly lined up and then it'll sort of do a U turn, so. Yeah, heavy load is this. Four and a half grand. Really, with this, we should be using a lorry. But that's thing, maybe another thing may look into. Anything in the used market? No, not really of our interest. Actually, they're not quite 85 grand for the seeds. Math was a bit off there this time. I'm actually reading the math in my head makes sense. But, anyways, we will go to you. Actually, we'll leave the trailer here for now. We will actually be needing this to do that those size bells were done. So, say work, go to, go to the farm over there. Also, so I've got nothing in these, got the beater. It's still being leased out to us. I just want to send you there as well. Because we do need to lease the bell wrapper, so go to bell wrappers. And we want this one here. Oh, heck, let's go with a red. So that is, yeah, not much money. And that will be our farm as well. So yeah, we've got a few things to do over the next month and that. we got all the sites to do. Ideally, this week or next week, we want to do that. I may do that in this episode. Also, we need to go ahead and mulch 45 after we've got to mulch these fields when we plow them. These are going to be fill beans. And that's going to be our barley field. And these are going to be wheat. So, really, you should start looking at planting those. So if you can wait, and then 53 could be barley as well. Actually, what is the boundary like between the fields? Well, actually, no, well, maybe, yeah, I don't just do field beans because that's just the easy crop, and not so very boring, but yeah, these three fields and that would be field beans. This would be all the wheat. I should have wheat and barley, remember? And then, yeah, actually, yeah, this they want to do a rye field, so maybe this one could be rye. And then, yeah, maybe, what do we go for? Maybe, because we do some of those cotton contracts. Maybe we do cotton or something. Because we're going to do wheat barley and oats now until start doing cotton in February. But for that, I may wait till March. So then when we harvest it in November, we can straight set it to the sell point. I should know how far far we did say about doing as well. Then seeds were okay. Rye, you can also plant now. 
And if we plant it now in November, we should harvest that around August. So if we do that, it'll be August for the wheat and barley. For the wheat, I'll say August slash September. For the barley, definitely August. We just missed the window for winter winter rapeseed, but we could always plant some in spring. Or oats as well. Oh. I really struggled to get there. Oh, that's why. Ah, shut up. Well, yeah, anyways, we'll head back to the farm, get everything ready, and think, start doing some silage work. There we go, just getting everything all lined up, and as you see, we decided to go and get a bit of a helping hand. We've got the John Deere 8410. This is one of the tractors we're looking at, uh, possibly getting. Also, we did get the front leak hitch option, but we did have the wing option, so. That's got the throwers on ready, that's got the cedar, and then we've got the mower set up over here ready to go. Got the bell wrapper over here as well, because we got a lot of stuff to do, I doubt we'll get everything done in this episode. But yeah, so we've got throwers to do on these fields, all of these. Especially these ones after a mow, so we may start doing the mow first. And then we'll just go around and do the fertilizing and then the seeding. Well, I think the best option for us would be do a headland. And then we'll just get the work on it. Or even heck it, get the work on it now whilst we're doing the fertilizing. Now I think doing the headland is a good idea because. I know what these workers could be like at the best of times, so I think that's going to be the plan. Start doing the mowing. We'll go and get the head done. Then get the workers set off. And then we we'll start focusing on fertilizing 56, 57, 59, and 109. So yeah, it's going to be a little bit of work for us. Shouldn't take us too long. It would be good to have all those six done as well to get an extra bells and that, but uh, it's just the order of when we're cutting it, so. But, anyways, won't take us too long. And I'll see you folks in the evening by the time we're done with this.
is most of the grass work complete already done 54 and 106 we're just about to start 105 and we've seeded 56 in wheat and now we need to do mowing off 55 and start mowing the rest of this so well I'll get to work on this I said new field found Ah, it's got this bloody middle grass, ain't it? Bugger. Uh. You know what, we'll wait on that in a minute. We need to get this... ...back up to the farm. Because we... I should now need to... We do fertilise... Ah, uh, what's it? 56, right? So... Cut across this gap in the hedgerows. But yeah, once again, the sun is setting. And that's the thing, we're going to be losing daylight very quickly here over the coming months, so... We need to take advantage of everything, so... I think if we just go up here, and then we should cut down and around. On to 56. Oops, Sarah, that I actually spilled out the cleaner. There we go. But yeah, a lot of this is just going to require a lot of work doing. And actually, think about this. Um, no, no, A4, 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 whatever it is. Actually, it's pretty good. It's got a decent light as well, so when we're working in the winter. It helps us with seeing things. It's got a good light, good range. Why can't all my tractors have these good lights? A little bit bright there. Uh, it's just one of those things. But yeah, so with... The grass fields done an issue. The actual field's not the meadow fields. The meadow grass. We are looking good, and... Obviously, as before, we'll get about 400,000 litres in bells from that. Give or take, I think, and... I've had to guess from 55, it's all a grass field, so... Maybe another 150,000 litres worth of grass? Maybe 200, if I'm lucky? Uh, yeah, you can never know for sure, and... We are out of fertiliser. So go and get this refilled. Still managed to play in the game. No one to go this way. Still remembering on where everything goes. Uh, which one is it? This one here. How much furrows have we got left? Okay, it's a decent amount. Should be fine till next year. Obviously, we'll be using this when we do like the fertilizing contracts and that. And you know what? Actually, for now, we'll park that over here. We'll do that in a bit, fertilizing. Because we do need to start the wind rowing and then the bathing. Bader is somewhere. I thought I left the Bader here, or did I leave it in one of the other fields? When we was doing contract work. Uh, no, I can't see it. Ah, I left it down there, fair enough. Right in front of me. <laughs> Yeah, left it down there to get ready. So we'll get this hooked up. I think I want to trust a worker doing this because we swell. But I think if we do like as before, start doing like the headlands and that. 
And then, yeah, so... Back it up. There we go. And I think, yeah, what we'll do now is, we'll do another time lapse. We'll start doing this, and then by the time we resume in the morning, hopefully I'll miss bits over here. Yeah, as I was saying, sort of get all this done. And uh, we'll resume in the morning, and everything should be done. So, yeah. Won't take us too long. Probably be a short time up, same ways with the light fading. And I'll see you folks in the morning. There we go, as we are approaching, well, pretty much towards the end of second week of November. We have been very busy. We've got all the seeding done, all the wheat is in the ground. And all that we need to do on those fields now is to roll in. But we've still got two weeks left to get all that done. So yeah, we've just been repairing our equipment now, washing them. Especially the Massey and Cedar, I was going to take that down to 45. Because we need to put the Roy in. And what I'm going to do is just park that there. Actually, what do we need? Actually, yeah, we still need the case and that, so we'll leave it out somewhere near one of the trailers. Yeah, pretty much. I said everything done. I think fertilizing still need done on some of the fields to get that silicon application in. We'll have a look. Oh yeah, a little bit there on 56 we missed for some reason. Along with 54 and 107 once we get all that done. But yeah, just look how the rocks out they are peppered, so get rid of that sec. 
But anywho, I'll show you. We could put a bell wrap on this. Bell wrap with the case. Not the case, of course. So I'll put that there. But yeah, there's just a little works here and there we've got to do. But I think overall we're actually be looking forward to next year. Like the wheat and the barley. We still need to do barley on 53, right? Yeah, 53, but we need to purchase that. I would do that. Oh, okay, actually, yeah. Barley. We're going to have to do that in March. Which is not an issue for us. Yeah, we can sell some hay now and all that good stuff. But yeah, we don't really need to, so... But yeah, I'm just glad we got all the work done on the land that we in. Took a bit of time to do, but... Rather than, like, have multiple episodes on it. I just thought, like okay, it, get it done now off camera. Ah, yeah, since we're putting this away for winter as well, just have the routine of cleaning our equipment. It's winter, winter maintenance is crucial, and yeah, we've still got work to do, but we can have gaps in between. And I think this for now, we'll just put it onto the side of the building, and then we can come back later on. But yeah, the whole reason of doing the weeds and barley is mainly a little bit of pig food as well as the grain because we're going to buy the grain meal and we're going to get flour from that and yeah that bakery we can do bread and yeah I doubt we'll do cakes because that requires like sugar and that sugar meal in and yeah I can get a production in that could use sugar now very easily. Many of Umaton and stuff can do that, but well, I may do cakes later on. But that's if we do cakes on this series, which if I had to guess at the moment would be a new. But anyways, we'll send you, send you there, just anywhere we do. Yeah, try to get rid of this bump in the ground. Can't redo it without removing the greenhouse. So, you know what? I'm not going to worry about that. And for now, we're just going to shovel all these pallets over here. Oops. Nicely stacked. Could yeah, be January slash February when we sell these. There we go. We're going to get a lot of money for these, so, really tempted for the new year. Let's get some more of these in. We get some land. Dedicate an area. Oh, that was still attached. Obviously, you have all these pads. That's been like FS22 on the PS4 Pro. Man, just quite fine. Bit of that here and there in places, but overall, not too bad. Now, speaking of the greenhouse products, when's the next good time to sell them? If we have a look. Yeah, well, apart from the new year, like during the February, get a little sell around May or July, maybe into August, but after August, yeah, not really till, or pretty much like December, January, February time again, but worst case scenario, get always a pallet storage in, store the pallets. But anyways, we need to do the bathing. And we've got 35% shrewl, so yeah, let's see, can see turn into silage or grass. Grass soon to be silage. There we go. So that's half a bit of struggle getting up and go. A little bit wear on the bather, but I'm not too worried about that. But yeah, we're gonna just about approach the fourth hour on the bather, so 
one more hour at least of the sin on it. And I think he have get us done in within one at least an hour. The turning circle though it is a bit challenging. A lot of it is just like the heads of them, so you go around once, get it all up. on. But yeah, if we get all this done and wrapped by the end of the month, then that would be good. So, I think I think we get that done in the episode, because I know this episode is going to be a long one. That's for sure, depending on how long the time lapses are. Try to keep around the three minute mark at the most, but anyways, we'll get this all done, and I'll see you folks, hopefully, by the end of the week when we are finished with the wrapping. That is all of the bathing dub. We've got 520,000 years of bells plus an additional 39, so that's 559,000 liters. We've got about 370 ish from the two fields normally, so that means almost 200,000 liters from that new field, so almost bang in the middle of where I said we will be. So now let's leave this to ferment. Got it all stacked up ready, so what I'm just gonna do is just park it here. Don't need to worry about rain because it's all good. So with that, we've gone and returned all of the equipment. Anything to use market? Nope. Nothing of real interest to us. So let's quickly go and get some rest. 
we'll see if there's anything more popping up in the next week. I doubt it, but all that's re Ooh, a bit of rain there. So it stop. Yeah, rain stops. Yeah, all we've got to do now is to mulch in, roll in, and all of that other good stuff. This thing's absolutely pitch black. There we go, a bit of sunrise. All great demand at Tall Trees Bell. So we're going to have a quick look at that. Is there anything of interest to us? Nope, it's not, not for silage or straw. Yeah, we're almost up there with the price with straw. Wait a little bit longer. Silage, 570. Currently, we could get it for 556. So, yeah, we'll wait again a little bit longer for that. Nothing interesting in the use market. Contracts. Not so much. I'm not going to do that Horace contract, so. I think on that note, that's where I'll leave it today. So, next time, finish off the field prep, get the right in the ground, and also we'll get the rest of the fertilizing finished off on all the fields. So then, come next year, don't need to worry about fertilizing. Hello folks and welcome back to Court Farms. It's been a while since I've last been on, about a week or so. But anyway, let's get back into it and we've got to do a few things. For one, we've got to start ripping up the grass fields, prepare for the field beans. But one thing we're going to do quickly is just go and move some of these bells over here out of the way. So, this is why I've got the front loader on the Massey. And we're just going to move these out of the way. Just tie them up a little bit. There we go. So, three bells. That would do it. So I think we'll just whack in here. There we go. Stand them up a little bit, tie them up. Because yeah, what we're going to do is apologies there, phone call. So yeah, as I was saying, we'll get these all moved. Just have a bit of a better storage area for them and That, please just cooperate yeah this is why we shouldn't have these bells like this in storage because it's gonna do that all right phase it through the ground oh there we go okay that's not going to plan uh well bear me a sec whilst i get it sorted So there we go, we've gone and bought this little loader trailer and I thought didn't sort it for this very reason, just like transport bells here and there, especially around the farm and when we do like the TMR mixing in the future we can just you know whack some bells on, have it stored up and then just grab them and go as and when we need them. So yeah that is 65,000 litres of hay. And I don't think our sheep need any. So if we have a little look here. Oh yeah, done that cultivation contract. Uh, nothing else popped up. Well, they could do some more hay, but in fairness, not a lot. So I'm thinking, where can we put some in storage? That won't get wet, because rain is forecast, as you see. On that top right corner, that's too small. Ah, what about the main sheds? Yeah, maybe. So, we uh, 
Let's put in this one here, so we can play in space in here. And what about free high tool fit? Oh, just about, so... From what? We'll just whack it here for now. There we go. We did say about pre applying the weeds because if we have a look here, we don't have weeds growing yet. So let's go and yeah, I want to see if it's actually worth doing with prevent grown up weeds. I have no idea here whatsoever, so let's go grab that. go get all hooked up and just back out of here bingo see how with these fields the wheat fields we planted in this episode so if we look at the we can see 56 has been done 55 7 9 and 109 they still need that second application and in fairness, they that can wait a while, so... 56 now, if we go this way... I'll get access to 56, and then we'll sweep around to 55, and so on and so forth. I'm not sure if this is going to be enough herbicide. Actually, do we have storage for it in one of these tanks here? Yes, we do. Now, I don't want to overload. I want to fit it up. Yeah, 7,500 litres. And it's not letting me fit it up, so... That's nice. Yeah, it says L3 started to fill, and <coughs> we're getting nothing. So it's not the front tank, it is the rear tank, so perhaps if we detach that. Covers open. Alright. Uh, must be a weird thing there, but. And you. Let's just change the width to 21 meters. Yeah, crash into the trailer that's right in front of us. That's a good way of sucking things off, so yeah. I think the main thing today is going to be ripping out the loose grass fields, but. Application of herbicide is important and be a good test for us as well. So, obviously, we won't know straight away, we'll have to wait a while. Let's put the lights on, we'll open this up, and yeah, I'm just hoping one, we don't use too much herbicide. Yeah, we've got a tank full, but. So we're starting to apply. It's going down. If we stop here and have a look, it needs rolling. Hmm. What did we say about rolling? They all need rolling. Dang it. So they need rolling as well. Bugger me. Oh, get that done in this episode if we can. If not, we'll do it in the next episode when we're still in November. But anyways, we're going to gamble with this. This may work, this may not work, so... 
Anyways, I'll see you folks when we're done, and won't be for a while yet before we figure out whether or not this is worth your not. And there we go, finishing off not the herbicide work of Yes, yeah, so I'd give that up, just simple reasons because I think don't think it actually does work. Pretty sure it doesn't, but and what sort of semi reinforced that was the lack of ability to get a worker, AI worker to do this, so that's why we decided to abandon that. By the way, that is all the fields for race now. Obviously the grass meadow can't be fertilized because that is just a grass meadow, not a field. So we have a look here fertilized. Boom boom boom. All done. A little strip over here, but apart from that, not too bad. Technically we could go cheeky apply fertilizer on this, but we won't, unlike what we do over there so but yeah now so let's go and get the cultivator and start ripping all this grass up also been thinking about obviously with this field here there's not many access points it's either the farm the home farm or 60 and I think even since we're using this field as access there's a meadow area didn't see that. I'm thinking we just buy 60. Because what we can do, like with here, technically we're going over to crop here, is, I don't know, something like on the lines off, get a plow, get a cheap old pl plow to lease. Because 6 meters is a bit too big for us, I think. I should cut from here back onto the farm. Yeah, I don't know, let's have a, something like a 3 or a 5 for a plow. Yeah, something like that. 5 for a plow, 2.5 meters wide. Long as it's wide enough for like the combine, yeah, 2 meters should do it. Actually, what's the next one up? Unless we go with, was that a 7 for? 3, 6, 7. I think tractors on that. Maybe a bit too wide. It feels like a bang on three meter one would be perfect. But so either a two and a half or a three and a half. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. So what we can do is so any small rollers or mulchers and that. 
I'm gonna be a roller in the normal motor. You know, just roll it around now, smoothing it off. And then, just like that, get, get some dirt, pile on top. And then be a little farm track for us. Maybe sprinkle some grass seeds on there for it to grow. And horse grease. <laughs> so, right, uh, that's settled. Horse grease to it. So, that's what we're going to do. That's a nay in agreement. Or it could be a nay in disapproval, but I'm taking that as a nay of agreement. But yeah, also we've got the silage to sell. Don't think it's quite at its right price yet, because we have a look. Just to remind myself, so yes, yeah, straw December and similar silage is December into January. 570 is the peak, and currently we can get 556 at the garden center. Yeah, no, let's wait another month. In this case, two weeks. So, I think for now, we'll just whack the first spreader over here. Because, you, yeah, the plan now is rip up these grass fields. Also, if we can, in this episode, cedar there and vulture there. Get 45 mulched since we forgot to do it on the other fields, and then seed it with rye. So, I think the plan was if we have the kind of crops, we're going to be buying 52, which is barley. Right, is that barley? Okay, that must be barley. That must be rye then. That's going to be barley. And then, do we get these little fills over here? Sort of could do. But yeah, I knew pretty much all we have to do is buy 53, 60, and 58. All the 58 is going to be our oats for the horses. So you got wheat. Yeah, we're gonna have barley here. Maybe you can convert 60 into an outfield and get 84. So then we've got our wheat, a barley, and oats. That's gonna be crop for the grain milk we're gonna be getting. And rye, well, unless we do really want to do rye, might as well do like wheat or barley or something. Unless. Let's just do alfalfa in this field. When is alfalfa ready to be planted? Ugh, April. So unless we do a cheeky grass field, get a cut of that. Or perhaps, actually, I know we can. Dang it, Mr. Plan, we live for all seeds radish. Unless we think in. Actually, I'm thinking canola. I know we said about doing potatoes. So, unless we do canola on here, has that just been harvested or has that been seeded? That's been seeded, so unless we say, with our loan, we're going to be getting, if we get these two fields, yeah, pretty expensive though. Well, at least, certainly at least this one, maybe 91 even. That's been seen as well, right? Have a big old canola, get some Aussie rape, and then with that, we can make some delicious petrol. So I think there is a production for that. So if we go over here, uh, no, not crude oil production. Not there quite yet. Yeah, fuel refinery. I'm going to look at that, see if it's individually or separate, or individually 
or as a group of you need bits of each skit to the one I know for sure I can just do it with OC rape is or is it two? There we go. No. I pass it, there we go. Midwest production. Get a refinery plant in. Obviously it's gonna be nowhere near the farm, it's gonna be on a plot land somewhere. Actually, what about how will that fit with our little area we've got? Oh, it's gonna be too big, ain't it? Yeah, it's gonna be way too big. Just the landscaping alone. Yeah, it's gonna be absolutely annoying. If we move that over a bit, then perhaps mm, unless we do that. Just reverse it in and then remove the silo and move it somewhere else. But yeah, 80 grand, that class, individually that is, I know that for sure, that's sorghum, corn, soybeans, and rapeseed oil, or rapeseed. And with that, we can get ethanol, and also I think there's a corn mash and that, something along the lines, I can't remember what it is. Yeah, sir, we could do something like that. But, anyways, we need to start cultivating. Rip up all these fields. And actually, is that the best cultivator we got, slash, can have? Because if we have a look. Case okay, so that's 500 horsepower it needs. Under disc arrow, 1.8 meters at 11 miles an hour, 360. Unless we try something else, you know, 400 horsepower for the Mandaco. Actually, what is our highest horsepower tractor? Three. Two five. And what's the other one? Three sixty. Yeah. Ooh. But would it be worth it? Five and a half grand there. And what's a cheap large tractor? Tractor, because yeah, the reason I thought ooh, something different, experiments and all that. Let's we go with one of these. But remember it needs to be over 360. That's gonna be 20 grand in these synthes. Unless we try something like that. That's eight and a half grand for a 9620. It is articulated. Hmm. And that was my alarm going off, but uh, 20 grand we're looking at for something decent. Only what the heck it was stick with this, it's only gonna be slightly smaller and saving 20 grand on lease and fees, and that's not including the hourly cost. That could be quite substantial and add up very quickly. But yeah, so, yeah, I think we're we'll sick with what we're doing, rip up all the grass fields, especially as well, we can't direct drill with the cedar, and even if we could, it's good to have that cultivation, get the seabed sorted, make it easy for the crop to grow once it is actually seeded. In the ways we're sort of trying to do things here, sort of semi-realistic. I do say semi because I knew me. Oh, yeah, I knew me very well, and yeah, me straight from the path, but I want to do the best I can to stick to not using stupid equipment like we're doing on No Man's Land and by Spring, like by Spring. Last episode, that's not long went out, a couple 
these go. Panel create mega fuels on that, and yeah, it's just one of those things. It's okay, we can get away with that, but we'll do it on every series to create the mega fields. Do it wrong, or have big fields. I don't mind having big fields. Big fields are good. Big fields are nice to have, but yeah, not ridiculous. Like mega fields that covers like half the map in that. Just a lot of little plots of land here and there, dust it about. Sure, why not? I need to move this out of the way because that is in the way. Go. I'll whack that over there. And what forget. Just whack it there. I'll get hooked back to back up to the cultivator. I'll see now with the whole sort of self reflection on fields and all that. I am actually thinking doing something a sort of similar what I did with New Man's Land start off with. Either I like, escalate very quickly to oh it's no longer a bigger challenge for thriving. Yeah that was with the help of productions and all that. Say what you want about productions but I think when they're managed in moderation they're good to have like with this series. Yeah we've got greenhouses, we've got to have the green mill in. I think yeah, apart from the fuel refinery, that's going to be something different, something I haven't really touched on. I think last time I touched on the fuel refinery was Adelshoven or something like that. I can't recall what it did on Compton Farms. Even though that is a map I'm going to go back, back to at some point, depending on what maps come out in the future and out over the coming months, but. Certainly thinking about do something that like seen what like sort of Dagman's done with having like a kind of vintage survival or just vintage farming just together. You know, start off with a vintage structure. Things like the basic sort of the plow, cedar, and pretty much that's it. Then things like the help with multiplayer, we can have like a lease to own scheme. I know on PC you can have the lease to own mod, but fortunately consoles we don't have that option. And that's because it all changes the script of the games and that, and etc. And it's like Microsoft or Sony. From what I've heard before, it was Microsoft, but again, I wouldn't be surprised if it was Sony as well, or just Sony. That refuses the options to have scripted mods on games. But anyways, <laughs> that's a bit of ranting on. But yeah, that's sort of the whole venture survival. You know, just keep it in moderation, do little things here and there. Could be a good small like a 20, 30 episode series. Heck it may even grow more than three episodes. Something like Vintage Survival, you know, sort start with basic equipment, and that could be like a season let's play series where we do Vintage first of all, and then we just build up and build up from that to over the years and decades, perhaps have more modern equipment as you go down the year or so, again, with that in the case of what year. For a farm truck and that, sixes and that, possible. Farming equipment, I'm not sure on. Uh, things like, you need to plan for things like the basics of combine. The cut, the cut bars that we use often, we can get away with that. I'm trying to think as well. But yeah, it's like the cedars and planters and that. That's going to be the thing there, that's going to be the thing that will get us out. I know for things like plows and cultivators, there's so many like, classic ones, like, kind of like the Polish ones, you know. Yeah, that's the thing as well, the map. Maybe an Eastern European vibe, or 
Mediterranean, Italian. Doesn't have to be set in sort of prehistoric times of well, undeveloped Eastern Europe now. But yeah, three options about that. I'm sort of saying that just because we have like no one's that just come off recording a 12 hour episode, which episode itself ain't 12 hours, I think it's like 50 minutes long at most. Did try to keep it short and did quite well until I sort of rammed in. Similar with this episode, perhaps, but yeah, so with that, we're at 46 episodes now and. Yeah, I've got to do grapes on that series. But I think that alone is going to be like a year or so. So maybe 10 episodes there in grapes together. By spring, it's going to be a similar thing. What should we do to make a field in that with the potatoes? Core Farms is going to go for a while. Like, yeah, I know. The market's flooded with court farms, so many people are interested. And yeah, I know certainly with the recent episodes that has been reflected, but I'm gonna keep on going with court farms, like it's a freaking good map. Auction David. Yeah, it's just those it's one of those map makers who does awesome things. Other maps, yeah. Hit and miss, depending on Map, map by map and individually by individually. And ooh, we found a bell. Oop. Yeet. But yeah, so you know, that's one thing also notice lately with mods now. It's like Nancy's Nancy Boy's American Force map. Twelve days I was in testing and that came back as failed. Which, okay, fair enough, fell testing. But 12 days. Really, 12 days. When you look at other mods that have come on to the mods up testing this, and either passed or failed, or whatever, that came on later and were completely testing. But yeah, I don't think it was a huge change that I pointed to American Falls. Pretty substantial, but. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, something about that, I think, personally. Especially when you see other maps that's come out. Uh, some are alright, but some not are quite buggy in places. Um, not broken, but just buggy in general, and have gone through and released. Yeah, I don't know, but anyways, so I'm losing my voice. Look at these time maps, I'll get it all done, and I'll see you folks afterwards.
and there we go. That is the cultivating done. Didn't take us too long as I thought. But yep, all the grass fields have been ripped up and cultivated. Including 55, and the reason why I've done that is it's got so much silage in that. And so little cows. We don't really need a grass field dedicated for silage. We've got tons of silage. We've got tons of straw in that. I've got plenty of hay at the moment, so I'm thinking, do we need it? Uh, not really. But further in the future, in the next year or two, we need some, then we'll just quickly put a grass field down and be done with it. So we've got the cultivator coming down here attached to the Coloss. We'll get that started on this. Gate. So what? We'll shut that gate. There we go. So yeah, we're gonna be mulching this field here and that field area by the grain mill. We'll also do that because I realise we haven't done that one yet. And whilst we still remember, we can actually mulch it. All helps with that yield bonus, especially if these are gonna be our rapeseed fields then yeah it will definitely come in handy especially with the fuel production and yeah even as I'm recording this mods are just dropped in that well, well I dropped it yesterday on Wednesday it's Thursday now recording this bit uh, yeah some really nice new productions coming out so I think yeah just some productions that are different rather than your same old there's a variety. There we go, get cruise control one. But yeah, I think once we do the heads in that, we'll start going up and down. But yeah, we're just able to do this at top speed. First, down here is the steepest. Once we get to this, it sort of levels out. There we go. Yeah, around Q8, 9 miles an hour. So, yeah, it's just a little bit down there where it sort of semi struggles, but. Yeah, we're gonna make light work of this, and. I do think in the next episode we're gonna have a lot of rolling to do. Obviously, things like this, mulching now. It's process is a set that we can do now, get out of the way. And also we do need to roll these grass fields here because they are stubble tillage and even though we could just directly plant or see the crop in that in now with that. If we were going to plant, which we're not, not until next year. We do need to just roll it to get that seabed in. And again, that's the process of. Yeah, technically, you don't need to do it. But if we're trying to be sort of semi realistic with the whole farming process, then. Yeah, that's what we're going to need to do. And there we go, so back up, so get a bit up there we missed. Now we'll just get a worker on this. Well, we'll do the rolling, not the mulching ourselves, but get the worker starting to cultivate. And I think we'll still get weeds popping up when we, we do this, and that's fine. That is perfectly fine for us. There we go, so we'll go. Yeah, hopefully we should be able to see ahead of the cultivator because we're twice as wide and only going slightly slower. So, obviously, it's just going to do yeah, it's going to do that. So hit the tree, please. Even though you're used to that, I don't want to go and replace you. Well, not just yet at least, but <laughs> anyways, we'll get the rest of the motion done. 
and I'll see you folks afterwards. There we go, as we're working into the sunset. Yeah, I actually had a uh, month set to July for the thumbnail on that and I completely forgot to leave it on because I had a break between recording off the not time lapse just gone, but the one before I had recording this bit now and yeah, I just completely forgot so uh, my bad on that. But yeah, as you can see, we are now starting the process of rolling these fields with the field roller to get that seed bed and it's going to be an extra step that helps us with the planting of the seeds make sure the seeds go into the ground and make sure it's like a perfectly smooth and level surface so currently we've got the worker doing the field body green mill it has missed a spot to the right there but overall I'm not too worried about that yeah, I'm not sure why it missed it. They did it with the mulching. That's why we quickly did it in time lapse of moving it, moving over around. Get that ass up and done. But yeah, these trees, these pesky trees are in the way. Ugh, come on. I was about moving a 20 meter bloody mulcher. There we go. That's why I wouldn't see. But yeah, so if we have a look now at the field map, get the sub tillage popping up, I will see a difference. So the darker one is the tillage. There we go. And that is the seabed. And that's what we want for our crops to go in. 
technically we did do it with the wheat and that, so that's going to impact the yield by at least 5% of the misprocesses of getting that perfect seabed in. And that's the thing, 5% may not seem much. However, when we run this farming act, this, remember, this is our first year running the farm. We need every single penny coming as possible. We're still going to be doing contract work, still going to be that contractor to help out local farmers. But we need to focus on ourselves as well, our own farm as well. The contracts is, rather than being the main business, it's now, yeah, it's a slight, slight business. Or part of a dual main purpose of business, dual main purpose business, whatever. So yeah, it's like a bit of yin and yang. It all comes in hand in hand, both ways. And yeah, that's the thing. Because things like we need to purchase a baiter and a wrapper and that for the contract work. Yeah. We got the forge wagon for ourselves, but for things like doing the hay in that or straw, I'd rather bait it. Have we just remind ourselves on the prices of the baiters? For the bigger ones, we're looking at 150 grand, and for the wrappers, we're looking at 54 grand, so that's 200 grand there. And 5%, especially with things like fill beans, that can make a difference because, yeah, the question is, how much fill beans did we get in the end actually? Was it something like 56,000 litres or something we got? So yeah, 5% of 60,000 litres, so 5% of that is 3,000 litres, so that's 12 grand there. Okay, alright, I could just do a cheeky contract of signage. And yeah, I'll be at 12 grand back. And perhaps I'll get at 12 grand quicker by doing these contracts than doing the process of correctly mulching the fields, rolling the fields, creating that seabed before we put the crop in. But yeah, but that's not sort of what you would do in real life almost, ain't it, kind of thing. That's the thing, yeah, I'm not a real farmer, I'm just a huge Uber and that, and yeah, what I do for a living now is back into caring as a care assistant, but that's the thing with the whole Farm Simulator franchise, when I first bought FS19, when it was free on the PS Store back in 2020, I think it was. Yeah, got to be 2020, bought it in like June or July, whenever it popped up free. Didn't bother it for a few months. Then I got bored with sim racing due to a variety of issues, the quality of league racing and that, and sort of the dedication of have to put time in, sort of sweat. Yeah, pretty much, I was a good old sweater sim racer off. For league race, I'll put maybe 10 hours in over Saturday and Sunday, we're racing on Sunday, I put about 10-12 hours in of practice, practice racing, just hammering that to get the perfect lap times. And yeah, discovered Farm Sim then, that's why like this channel recently hit its anniversary now, I didn't realise. Yeah, I've certainly come a long way. And I don't want to go back into doing a variety of videos, grow the channel and that. Rather than just doing let's play videos here and there. I want to do proper videos and that, like some guides. I've got some ideas, I've been thinking about it recently. I've looked at what the likes of Mr. CP, Driver 53 Gaming has put out and what they haven't put out. And I've got some ideas. Especially when we'll get back into it, mod reviews, I know. For me personally, if I want to go for a mod review, I'll watch Mr. P's videos, because well, with all due respect to likes of like DJ Goham and others, Mr. P is one of those creators I prefer to go to and want to watch my mod reviews. 
And that's one of the things I'm going to take reflect on when I do volume mod reviews. Do a bit of in-depth analysis of each mod, rather than being that sort of glossy over loud, not loud mouth in a bad way, but I know certain people in the community aren't as fan of like the likes of like people like DJ Gomes' videos and his mod reviews. Which is fair enough, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. I do watch this plays and that from time to time. Especially as far as the news, I tend to watch that every day whenever it comes out. But yeah, with things like that, at the end of the day, it's a personal thing. So it's all about a personal perspective. Uh, yeah, we are seriously losing the light now. We maybe got another half an hour or so of light. I think we don't need to work late into the night and as well for recording, as I mentioned before. Yeah, it ain't great recording at night. That's why I tend to avoid it where I can. But when you get only like, like five hours of work in per week or per day. Yeah. Working into dusk and or working from dusk to dawn is part of it. But anyways, that is well pretty much all this done. We've got a bit over there to do. And got this bit here to finish off. I'll get these little bits here finished off in between episodes. And uh, we've done the first field of rolling. Now we've got to roll 54, 106. 107, 55, 56, 57, 59, 109, 45, and this field. <laughs> oh, but it ain't gonna take us too long. Also, we've got the slide to sell soon. It's almost at its peak price when it hits December or January. That's when we'll sell. Hello, folks, and welcome back to Court Farm. And we've got a lot of stuff to do today. In the last week of November, we want to get the fields rolled in preparation for the next crop we're going to be putting in. Also, the wheat that needs rolled in. But yeah, let's go and have a look because we've made a little purchase. So, I did talk about a couple of episodes ago about getting like a small tractor around the farm now. Just so that we, things like this, like taking care of the horses and that. So obviously it's a bit awkward coming in here all the time with the front loader and that. It's just a tractor, is so it's pretty big actually, so. What we've got in bought is, for about 30 grand, we bought a Meltec DB6 trainer, 8,500 litres, and a small John Deere 6405. Just 105 horsepower that is, but it's adequate. Does the job, does what it needs to do. And basically that'll just be like a yard tractor, like pulling things around, getting things out of the shop and that. So yeah, what we're just gonna do is empty the oats in here. Because the horses are topped up with oats, we've ridden them. We rode them at the end of the last episode after we off camera and I've gone and already rode them this morning so the horses are taken care of for. But yeah the John Deere also does come with a front loader option which we haven't opted for. Actually how much would that be for the front loader? Well ah, curiosity. under front loaders so guessing it'll be this one here no that'll be an option that's a 7R actually let's have a look in the shop here see if it recommends one for us so Yes, it's John Deere front loader, so yeah, I'm guessing 
based on that, it'll be this one here, it's a 603R. Makes sense. Cause yeah, that's for the 7R, that's for a case, that's for classes. Yeah, not sure on that, but anywho. Apologies there, got interrupted, so yeah. Let's get to the last bit of the week, not the week, the hoops here picked up. Let's turn on the full lights. But yeah, may go with a different odor option at some point. But for now, we are happy with what we're doing. And yeah, basically it's just be a little storage area for use. And just as and when it's needed, we can just empty the trailer into the horse pen because we have a look here. Go to our horses. Yeah, 60% base food, so it's got a bit too much hay, but yeah, it's, not, it's not a big issue. Just keep it topped off the oats, and eventually that will overtake. But yeah, so the big task for today is the rolling. We got a lot of rolling to do. We've already done one field in the last episode, and that is this one here by the main farm. Yeah, I've got a slight bells there. Don't think it's quite ready to sell yet. I think it's January it peaks, so let's have a little look here. Prices, there we go. So go down here, silage. At the moment we're getting about five six five at no five six nine at the moment. So yeah, that's really bang on sort of where the top end is at five seventy on average. I am going to wait till next week when we go into December. And just yeah, even it's a couple an extra five per thousand liters. Got five hundred twenty thousand liters. That's two and a half grand. But yeah, let's put the front loader there. Don't necessarily put that in storage. I don't think it's going to rain today. Nothing on the forecast. So yeah, actually it's pretty all right. Decent temperature. It's all twenty degrees Celsius. And around 10 miles an hour of wind in sort of southwest, south southwest, or southwest west direction. December's looking good for the first week, but then we're going to be sort of hitting the snow. So, yeah. But, yeah, obviously, you can see we've got the seabed done here on this field, and all the other fields are grass fields that we ripped up in the last episode. They're all like this, double tillage. Now, why is that facing that way? I thought I had it the other way around. Uh, I'm not sure now. Yeah, that's where we had it facing this way. Uh, well. Anywho, we'll get this all lined up. But yeah, just to show the sort of length of the task we've got on hand, so basically we got to roll this field, this field, this field, and this field, these grass fields. They need to become a seabed for the crop. And then we've got the four wheat fields, they need rolled in. So if we have a look, needs rolled in. Yeah, they need to be rolled. Yeah, still checking. Nothing needs line more plowing, right? If it does, it's just around the edges, which I, I can live with. Wait a minute, 55 needs plowing up. I thought we already did that. Apparently, that needs plowing. Did we not plow that? Oh, bloody hell. Oh, we'll do that. Right, okay. Fair enough then. Yeah, if we go to oh sheep, 
Hello. Fifty-five. Did we power it up or what? I thought we did. Oh no, he just mulch, must have just mulched it. Freak's sake. Alright. Where's Klaus? No, I don't want to touch you. Ugh. I swear we did it. Oh, I guess not. Yeah, I'm, I don't know if we did it, but... Game says we didn't do it, we didn't do it, so... Just testing our hydraulics. Everything's been fueled up. Everything's well, almost everything's been washed apart from the plow, but we're gonna be ripping some soil up. So, uh, yeah, okay. Good thing we checked, because otherwise, that'd be a severe penalty for us for when we plant the oats in spring. We want to go. Yeah, we can go this way, right? Down the track. But yeah, also with the winter coming, hopefully we can get some snow now, get some snowmen popping up. And then possibly find the like, last few collectibles we need. So yeah, get an extra 100 grand. But yeah, I had a moment we can this up, so... So, that great feel, so slightly... Largest in areas. Okay, that's a bank there. Actually, can we smooth that? Landscaping level. So, you want it to be that level. Level this out. There we go. And then just soften terrain. There we go. Bob's your uncle, well, that is that sorted. But yeah, so anyways, we will, yeah, get us well done, get us plow, get us light, and then I'll see you folks from when we start to roll it.
that done. We are done with the rock picking. And yeah, we've done something different. Just bought a little trailer I think. Yeah, it's all on the market. Looks like an old trailer has been customised and modified to work as both as a rock picker and apparently also as a forge wagon. But I think the forge option is a bit full. I think there's some little manufacturing bugs with it at the moment with the pickup, so yeah, maybe the future. That side like this doesn't have a slight acid tank and it is smaller than the at the moment. The target this one. But yeah, 7,000 litres of rocks. You need to get the rocks picked up. Helps reduce the wear on the equipment in the long run and that, so... And yeah, we'll probably just get in a few months time in the new year and that, when we start doing the other field work. But, anywho... Let's go and load this up. Ooh, I do like that. That right, is a nice little animation with the hydraulics. And now we'll just go to our productions. Turn on that. That's going to take not too long at all. I'll get about 60,000 years of lime, and as before, we'll set it. And we'll go and return that. So, yeah, can forge everything. So, do grass, alfalfa, TMR, alpha hay, straw, silage, chaff. What's that? Chaff, hay, and stones. So yeah, maybe an option for us. But yeah, 43,000 litres. Actually, does it have any other capacities? 75,000 litres. And yeah, unrealistic ones. But yeah, the forage option is an additional 5 grand, but for 60 grand. But yeah, we've got an option for a rear hitch, got a cover option, but yeah, no additive tank. Maybe the manufacturer could add that in a the next batch production, but anyways, we'll go into the case and we'll start the rolling. Short slow words. There it goes, build up speed. Yeah, I don't think it'll take us this long to do the rolled in. Yeah, 20 meters at 9 miles an hour. This was a good choice. Oh, that pesky bell, is that? Yeah, that's a grass bell. Let's just take this over here. Even though this could be a helpful size bell, I'm not going to release the wrapper just for one bell. I think what we'll do instead is give this to the sheep. So we'll take this over here. Yeah, it's heavy bell here. Here we go. Horses don't need any more hay. Sheep could do with some food. And there it goes. And that has consumed that bell entirely. Does it need more food? Oh, I could do with a little bit more. Actually, you know what? Okay. We're up to John Deere. I'll take these bells over, might as well. Because we've got plenty of hay as it is at the moment. And we can just leave them there and just let the sheep just mulch on it whenever they want. So rather than having to get a bell for them now, we can 
how are the mouse going to work? But yeah, a little John Deere here. Nice, it's adequate, small, nimble. That's also what also bought the trailer, is like when we get bells and that. Just transport around to maneuver around the farm. There we go. Open the gates. Smashing that gate post. Mark it right. A little bit of squeeze. Mind the trough and mind the sheep. Don't squish them. Don't worry, that'd be some delicious lambs in a few years' time. But for now. That's our food topped up. So yeah, we'll... Actually, well, we'll just leave this here for now. Take the keys. And into the old Massey again. But yeah, so... I think, yeah, definitely, in the long run, making more sheep, even more cows. Because we want to get some milk going, and they're going to take a while to grow in that, so... Yeah, let's do harm and get some extra cows in. Even if we just import them. So how much would it be to lease that trader or the truck? I think if possible, the trade would be best. Because, what was it? If we go down here... Have a little look. Which one was it again? Thought we had it underneath here or under lizards. Huh. I thought that was here, but maybe not, maybe didn't have it installed. Let's go under animals transport so go down here animal transport yeah life sock trader ah wait a minute life sock so maybe I'm just blind as a bat completely missed it yep yeah, right there so 116 for the lorry and that does 20 now there's 12 cows, and that does 12 cows, so how much will that be for grand? Yeah, do that, do maybe two runs, get another 24 in. So I think this holds 50, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, we're going to have a little look. So the cows... They're here. Yeah, so 50 cows we're going to have. So let's hope we get 12 heifers in the, the Holsteins. Because, what was it, after 10 months they can start producing milk. So, yeah. Get 12 of these in. Because, yeah, obviously, max that out. I'm going to pay two grand in fees, so. Yeah, technically, the leasing off the trader is a bit more expensive, but it's only a grand. But, yeah, actually, what is the values of our beef at the moment? Yeah, they've gone up in price compared to what they were, 300 quid. They've doubled in price, so... Yeah, by the time they're proper adults, they'll be worth a fair bit. But anywho, yeah, back, we need to get this done. Enough waffling on. But 
yeah, no, we can go with like, the home farm or Sainbridge farm. So I think how much is you have a look in the prices. Two hundred eighty grand. There's a lot one there. Uh, do, 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 do. This one is this one here, is it? Must be, yeah. Eighty-three grand. Hmm. Well, so actually, I'll do some research. I inquire. Do you think they do cows there? If not, then we'll go with the home farm. That was purchased that from. Uh, what's the thing? I can't remember. Obviously, we had to sort of get the lease permission to with the whole canoe incident during harvest, but yeah, certainly because I know the home farm that can hold a hundred cattle. Then we can get some Anguses coming in, even if they're 12 months, grow for six months, and that raise them some for a profit. Something like that, we may need to inquire then into actually owning the trader now, like outright now. But yeah, 60 grand makes sense, it does, rather than keep on leasing now. Because the thing is, if we get away with these stuff, I will. But if it's stuff we're going to be using multiple times, then I'm more inclined to just, you know what, heck it. Buy it outright. I was able to exception that is like the combine equipment for the headers and that. Because they are pretty expensive, they are and like this year with harvest. Ten grand that cost us to lease overall. Compared to sixty grand overall if you bought it outright. And that's not including the trader as well, because all we need to get a trader now to move the header about so yeah, I think that was a worthy choice there. But maybe purchase, even as I say, a corn header now. Purchase a cheap one. Ooh, a bit of stuff in there. Steady. Because, yeah, we're going to be doing a lot of harvest in that. With contracts and that, especially with the corn and sunflower because how much would be for a decent sized corn header so we have a look yes get away with this one here yeah a grand almost is there any other cheaper options what's that one nine meters hmm I like that. Let's we'll see if on the need of a trader, perhaps. But actually, no, because that'd be about six meters long, three meters either end when it extends, so 12 meters. Uh, yeah, I think we're we'll gonna need a trader still, anyways, with that one in particular. Or even something like a low loader, like the one we've got at the moment for the bells and that. Something like that. But, anywho, we still got a lot of work to do, we still got all the rolling to do. Yeah, that's going to be sort of the main highlight of the episode, but still things that takes up time. And also, me completely forgetting about plowing and liming that grass field on 55. But that's all done, it's obviously after you rock picked it, didn't show on camera. But we did go ahead and lime it as well, so we get all the extra bonuses from it. But anyways, let's get this finished off before we lose the light, and I'll see you folks later on.
there we go, as we are working into the night, and literally, we have officially lost the light. But we've got everything done, we've got all the fields rolled, so... We've got the seedbed ready for our crop next year, and we've got the wheat rolled. So the wheat, that should be ready at the end of... I guess in July or August. Look at the crop calendar. I'll say we didn't plant it early, we plant it on the later half, so maybe towards the end of August, I think. But regardless, it doesn't really matter too much. Ooh, miss returning. Yeah, forget it, just cut through here. But yeah, that was a lot of work to do. We sold the line. And even did a little cheeky old whilst the workers doing the rolling. Thought, heck it, let's do a cheeky harvest contract. Got a couple of grand out of it, so overall's worth it. But yeah, now to put this away. Because I think, you know what? We'll go to December. See what's what, and then yeah. I think we'll end it with some silage or silage bells. Size that's in the pit, about 400,000 litres worth. Is it 400 or 800? 800,000 litres worth, give or take. That'll be used for TMR, that's why you got rid of grass fields, because the amount of cows we've got at the moment, they require as near as amount of TMR that we've got here potentially, what? 800,000 litres of silage and a ton of straw and hay bales. That's not including the 3 million litres of straw we've got in loose storage. And that we're going to be sell in January or February. But yeah, for now, I think we'll just park this up. We'll fill the tractor up. Got the oops over there for the horses. Not sure I should close this. Don't the horses escape it? You know, if they want to escape, they can just jump over the fence, but. Sops of chickens going in. But then again, if they want to get in, they'll squeeze through the fences, so. yeah. Forget about that. But anywho, we'll put this in storage in the workshop. Big boy to move. But yeah, it's definitely been worth it. There we go. Let's bring that baby up. Deer run across the workshop, as you do. There we go. Too much was that just over two grand, and that's just a bit of preventive maintenance. So, actually, you know what? We'll leave this out because we've got to sell the bell, so we'll get near the bell trailer ready. And in the morning, we could go ahead and sell these bells. Let's get it hooked up. everything hooked up, have a quick look, so... Pins in, hydraulic is up, hoses are connected, and yeah, it does look good, it's actually clean, so yeah. Let's go to bed. Or should I just have some tea? Go to bed. And then I'll see you folks in the morning. And there we go, as for just warming the engine up. It is a bit of a nippy morning, so let's go and have a look here, so... Oh, still playing up. Yeah, I don't know why this is, because when I skip till the next day, till now, here's what happens. Okay, what well, is this? I think we broke it. 
skipped ahead till tomorrow and this should get in weird artifacts. Does it want to rain? Does it want to rain? Yes, no, yes, no, do the shake about. Yeah, so things might be a bit broken here. Hopefully it's alright. Can't judge the weather, but can't find the current temperature, but seems fine at the moment. But yeah, so let's go and sell the signage. It's that time now, so let's have a little look. Signage. 570 we're looking for. We can get 580 at the farmer's market bells. That's just decently above the price, so where's that to? North? Ah, yeah, it's north, so. Let's go over there and sell these bells. Journey later, so yeah, we've got 528,000 liters plus an additional 39,000 liters, so 559,000 liters. Because those three bells on top are not strapped down, couldn't strap them down. So let's go and sell all of these bells so that money rocket up. Dang it, 145 grand. Another 140 grand, so that's 280 ish. And the final tally is 365,000 almost, so how much was that actually? 329,000 pounds in just Bell, so that is a pretty nice haul. Things like fun equipment, because I did notice there is this wheel loader for sale. Cheap second hand is a Volvo. It's not the top end model, I think it's the lower end one. I think let's have a look here actually. Yeah, the L120H, so it's the lower end of these two. But you yeah, really don't need the L180. It's not Silver Run Forest where we need that for her the trees and that. But yeah, I'm tempted to get that. So yes, yeah, how much is it? 111 grand? Not too bad. And also I'm thinking for work around the farm, get ourselves a Teleander, so... Go with the Lieber, perhaps? Decent. 72 grand, cheap. I'm not gonna go near the shuffer. But yeah, also, because the Ferris also looks like something like this, like the Ferris in 6.26 Classic. Or even maybe the Manitou, but. Yeah, I may go with those two. Take delivery of that. And then we still have enough money for baiters and that, so. Yeah, our options are open. Now, if you just look at the prices for the rest, stroll. Actually, Stroll is at its peak. 143, so. We got a lot of work to do in the next episode, so yeah. 
Hello folks and welcome back to Court Forum. And here we are, it is just gone 11 o'clock and as you see on that top right corner, all the money we made from Sarge in last episode is gone. That's because we've gone and borrowed a lorry here from the ship. And we're taking delivery of some brand new and also not so brand new equipment. So let's go and have a look here, shall we? There we go. Took ourselves free. So yeah, we bought ourselves some stuff. Bought the build loader we mentioned in the last episode, that was second hand. And also we got an amp bought a telehandler and a bader. The only thing we really need now is the wrapper. And that's gonna cost us about 55 grand or so. Let's so be careful of these trees as yeah, we kind of get worn out with the bucket in that. We had some issues already with it. But anywho, we reverse the plot to the farm. Of course, we haven't paid for any renting fees. We'll be paying that later on today. So it's a dealership. So I want to borrow the lottery in that. And also, I want to borrow some of our trainers and their John Deere. Just because we got a lot of shrewd sell. There we go. Let's park it up. Unloaded. Get one strapped. So yeah, let's go and actually have a look, shall we? So yeah. Obviously we got the Volvo L120H. That was 55% off. And we also bought a bucket for that. I think that was like 6,000 litres. Next we've got the Lieber TL4367. And then... It was a bit of a choice with the beater, so I was to go with the Massey, but yeah, actually, I do like the Chrome one, the Chrome Big Mac, Big Pack, not the Big Mac, 1290 HTP VC SBC, and yeah, this is just also really good. And where is that little John here too? Oh, yeah, it's here. Oh, no. The goat bells. Well, we'll see if I'm there to train all that. So, yeah, I do think we're going to need that at the moment. I think it's like, maybe we sell straw nets. Or some things I want to get. Obviously, the belt wrapper. Also, a mix wagon so we could fund the TMR production. Fund TMR production, that makes no sense, but yeah, just make TMR for our cattle with the amount of silage. That we got. And you have take hands we've got a manure fork so we can remove the manure from the cow barn. Go, smooth the crew. Yeah, and actually, also, don't return that. That was a bit of a waste. Because you know what? I think we're just going to buy the cows in directly. So I'll park that up here for now. Obviously, no way this can power that and get actually running and bathing. But yeah, so next. Grab the lever. And yeah, it's just something different, you know. And I think instantly it will get this to work. So let's go over to the cows. And we'll clear the muck from their ends. Yeah, I think we'll just buy the cows in directly. And we're already stuck. Ah, it's got a little fork thing here, but... Really? Not even one minute's gone and we've already got it stuck. Come on. There we go, that's all that cleared up. So yeah, let's go and buy the cow in. So 
we got 24 cows at the moment and I'm thinking we'll go with 20 21 oh yeah I've got no money um you know what let's get out a, qu a quick loan in temporarily obviously we're going to be making this money back before we sell the straw so yeah 21 go and obviously yeah, that's gonna mean actually now we get some milk production more manures can be produced and lots of other things but also the fuel production or fuel consumption is gonna go up through the roof so excuse cows maybe thank you I'm here to clean your poop manure sorted so yeah a little pile of manure here so yeah that'll be a good little storage area for the manure for the time being I think yeah we may just sell that next year or something because we're going to have much manure being produced so I thought okay actually what's on here can we just give the cows some straw or is it they need it Sure, bells, or do they need to be, you know, properly consumed? You know, for a short blower. Because if so, that's going to be another thing we need to fund. Because, yeah, from sure alone, we're going to be selling. Man, we're talking about in the ballpark of. 450 grand. So I know the straw goes in here, right? Nope. Is it somewhere like here? Nope. Find the cow 
parts. Guess I'm gonna need a short blower. And yeah, technically, uh, new silo technically accepts bells and shreds them. But there's no way of that silo we got with shred bells IRL, so. Well, at least that we know of. Anywho, I think for now, let's go and shove these bells here. There we go. Boom. So yeah, now to figure out the cost of everything, we need a straw blower, we need a TMR mixer. So for the mixers, which actually could be used as a straw blower, just put straw in, it will chop it up. Because yeah, obviously you could use something like these, like the Pro Chop. Actually, it'd be something like that. For six grand, not too bad. Let's say it'll fit two bells in. Yeah, fee mixers we're looking at 30,000 litres. There, 22, 18. Ooh, the Mecha Fiber 365. 28. Thousand liters. Twenty four twenty two. What about uh, these ones here? Do they do them bigger? No, not really. Twenty six thousand, thirteen thousand liters. That's our TMR mixer, as we know. So, or at least as I know from a sort of let's play. On by spring, so yeah, I'm thinking it's got to be one of these big ones here. So we're looking at how much? Sixty grand, and that's for seventy-six grand. Yowza! What about we have a little look here? Productions. Is it two? It's got one here for the cows, but I think that's required extra stuff in that. Oh, which one was it? Put this down. Oh no, that's massive, that is. But yeah, even something like that, you know, a little mixer. 50 grand though. Go with a grand and soars huge volumes of it. So, thinking where could we put it potentially? I'm not too fast on location like in proximity to the cows. I think there's a little bit of trekking, I don't mind. I don't want to do it here because this is like the picnic area for the visitors of the farm. Hmm, okay. Unless we say, you know, put it like here or something. Just got to be mindful of the doors for the pig pens, but yeah, something like that. Just reverse tray in, it's going to be, yeah, a bit tight. But you know what? That I can live with. So ideally, it'd be something like that against a wall. You know, something like that. But then again, we're clashing with the additive tank. A few other things. What about... Look over here. Ah, what about over here? It's going to be a bit of terrain work, but... Yeah, definitely. You know, something like that. Be a nice little sight to see. Yeah, my problem is just landscaping, so... Unless we, I don't know, just remove part of this field. Can we get rid of that shed? 
I wonder, or is it a Sark share that, for legal reasons, can't be removed? Yeah, I think that's a Sark shed, so that can be moved. But yeah, I've got a few options for that, but we don't need to worry about that for a while. And actually, if we have a look at our animals currently, So having a look, yeah, still got plenty of straw in that for now. I'm going to let them run for that size first, so yeah, milk production will be a bit low. But yeah, so we've got some Anguses and Holstings growing. Little calves are almost six months old. be six months this month, actually, sometime in December, so... Yeah, so now we need to figure out a yeah we need to sell the straw now so yeah let me go and grab the John Deere set that we borrowed from the deer ship there we go so the total cost of all the lease and all this so we're borrowing this for the day along with the trader like the lorry and that so that is going to cost us five grand for the day so not too bad and we'll pay that off afterwards once we go on and get everything sold so between these two we can transport 400,000 litres at a time and that's still going to require best part of five eight trips so be a lot of back and forth going on here. But it comes with the territory doing harvesting contracts all year round and collecting all the straw. Farms it all the straw to make bells or whatever, so we got permission to collect it. At no extra cost to the farm now, it's just our labour, our fuel, our wear and tear, our own equipment. Or you put them more from the ship, but what you don't know would hurt them. Actually, also, we do need to service this, so if we say go into the deer ship's account, so on top of the five grand, uh, ain't gonna work like that, but yeah, we'll get us repairs. Because we didn't pay the cost last time to get this all serviced and that, so... <clears throat> yeah, that's on us, that is. That's on us. No two weeks about that. But yeah, three million litres of straw. That's going to take some time to fill up. And we established in the last episode, straw is at its peak price now. At December and January, so yeah, 138 we're looking at. We could do 143 at the farmer's market bells. Or do we settle for what's that? It could be a 2% less money if we just set to the value view bells, which is just around the corner from here. Ooh. Price is still going up for straw, so let's maybe wait on that, see what happens there. It's gonna be going to the night, I'm sure. Ooh, the Flint Vario. 396 horsepower. Yep, it's the base function. For uphead engine. Oh, I am so tempted. I am actually. Oh, actually, that looks to be a perfect combination. Oh, great demand at Vivi Bells. That straw. No, it ain't. And oh, I was hoping it's gonna be Vivi Bells for the straw and that, but nope. So that is not to be, so... But anyways, 
Ah, oh, dang it, we're at night now, so I don't want to record at night, but I want to get those two. Actually, you know what? Heck, let's take a cheeky loan out now. So how much is going to be that for these two? Want the upid engine? No idea what that does. So standard wheels. I think just standard with weights would do. So I'm just looking at prices, chrome. Chrome exhaust at least. Backlights red or default. Go with red. Ooh, that looks nice. So 220 to 280. So let's go and get that. Let's go to finances. If I can find it. We'll take out the loan. We'll pay off straight away afterwards. But we're just going to skip to the morning. There we go. So yeah, the green cart. We'll keep it green. Yeah, we want the tracks. Uh, we'll get everything for this, so that, BKTs, wheel weights, beacons, warnings, all of it. Or do you go with the chrome grids? Nah, just chrome exhaust. And there we go. No, I'm not going to bother with any of that. What is it time to do the cab? Whatever it is, we don't need it at the moment. So, yeah, let's skip to the morning. Get us all sold. And I'll see you folks afterwards.
go, we are done. So that was a bit of time taking. And how much straw did we sell in the end? So let's go and have a look. If we go down here, £447,000 we made. So just shy off 450 grand. The thing is, if we wait here, because we sold on average about 142, 143, occasionally 146. Because I didn't know what the market was going to be like with prices. It went up a bit more, not much, but significantly enough if we waited we would have breached that 450 grand mark, so yeah, currently 154, so an extra tenner for a thousand litres, so yeah, that's an extra, what, 30 grand or so? Anywho, let's go and get this back, so all the hazards and beacons on. And we repaired the John Deere Nat and the trader. That cost us about 10 grand. I made an initial payment of 2.5 grand. So yeah, we need to make a number 2.5 grand payment. Actually, a 3.5 grand because I'll be requiring this this morning. So, actually, yeah, let's do that now, shall we? Let's go up here. Go to here, dealership, three and a half grand, and there we go, that's sorted, that's all the loan paid off as well, and we're left with just a hundred and three grand left over, and usually that'll be fine, go into next year, keep on farming, but I want to go with a land expansion, as we mentioned a few times already. And we will require a long term loan. I'll say for about 12 months, 12 to 24 months, a year or two, to pay off because it's going to be in the region of like half a million or so. And I can't guarantee we're going to be doing a lot of short contracts next year. Well, I say short contracts, I mean artisan contracts. Don't fall over. Thank you very much. I'll read all that. Well, yeah, so, I think it's like the cows. Now we're getting milk in, we've already got 2,000 litres of milk. And, yeah, we need a mixed wagon. To get the TMR made. And how we're going to get a TMR made is an interesting thing. All of itself. Well, I think, just to get a mixed wagon. Yeah, that might be it. Yeah, we're not going to be using the trade for a while, not until like June when I'm sort of setting the fill beans, actually. We can keep them in storage here, can't we? Nothing to say we can't. And uh, yes, yeah, so I need to start putting my equipment away. Oh, uh, anywho, get this unloaded. Turn it off. Turn all the beacons off. There we go. But yeah, this is our first proper form tractor. Actually, bear me a sec. Well, there we go. That is the thumbnail for this episode done. And yeah. I had the game crash, so I had to redo some process we've done. Need to save more often. I didn't know whether or not we bought a wrapper or not. But we've gone and bought a wrapper egg maze because we need that, so yeah, that's the thumbnail sorted. Little cheeky little thumbnail. Yeah, let's go and get this off and finish off as we were saying. We're here off getting this all loaded up. Go and shuffle that. Nope. Into the fence, please. There we go. But yeah, now we've got some big equipment on the farm. And this will help us with the contract work and that. And so many other things. It is a very good tool to have. Actually, be sure just 
interesting. See how this navigates and maneuvers. Okay. Bit tight on that. I think we can make it work in that. Scores chickies, move out the way. Oh god, please help me with fits through the gates. I think, yeah, I know it ain't really suitable for QK maps. But, you gotta try your best, that stuff. Don't try, don't succeed. There we go, navigate fine. There we go. Uh, we set the fill beans. We'll fill that up. A lot faster compared to the other farm side though. God, that took forever to fill up with the bloody... Mushroom. But yeah, I think for another little test we'll sort of have a little right around. Yeah, actually for that gate over there is just to see how good of a job it does. Because if it ain't good, we're going to set very quickly. Dang it, oh, there was a nice combine on the market, but... I missed it. 6R. We did mention about getting another sort of medium on this tractor. Obviously we've got the big one now. But do we need it? Uh, if we have a look at our own stuff, we've got four tractors I think. The Massey, that's good. The A30. And that's the thing, for the 830, we're going to get much out of it, it's 42 hours. It's similar with the 930, or 920, whatever it was. But I think at the end of the day, regardless, we're going to hit that limit very quickly, anyways, with all of our tractors. But things like the fence, even when it's like losing half of its horsepower, it'll still be good to do. I think of that is get through here. It's way too big. Nah, nah, it's not too big, it's just getting too small. Okay, if you say, try to do that. Mark it around, screw the tire. Good thing we didn't make with white tires. Okay, this is go. Alright, a bit more. Where we're stuck to. Uh, this is just on the edge of the corner post. But yeah, I think realistically, yeah, this was a bit of a mistake. If we can't get through here, this area here, and we're absolutely stuck now, so uh, choices were made, and choices are going to be regretted. I think we should sell this, so bear with me a sec. Well, there we go, we've got a sorted hand, yeah. Going through that first gate, eventually. Second gate, uh, not so much, so... Yeah, a bit of jiggery and pokeriness. It's good to have it for a good old five minutes, but... Yeah, an older wagon is nice to have, it'd be helpful in the field. Maybe something a bit smaller, perhaps. What, what one of those was it? Janko? Ones? But yeah, anyways, we're going to get sold all sort of what's right here. We'll go and repair the fence. And that's the one thing I've got to do, especially with this tractor, is only reserve it for heavy duty work. Things like the carting or stuff like that. I think the carting could have got a lorry instead. Yeah, it was one of those things. Anyways, here we are. Oh, you. Yeah. Oh, I was thinking that if you just go in bloody. Oh, bloody hell. Bloody traffic. Yeah, it seems like you can hear it. Maneuvering into the dealership. Barely fits through, it's gonna hit that. No, it's gonna hit something else, but yeah, it did hit that, but oh yeah. Bad decisions were made. 
that's the thing we need to do is like experiment and test some of this stuff. Even if we speak to the ship, get a demo, something like that. Anyways, we'll park this up here. I'll go and sell. Uh, yeah, I'm going to sell the green cart. Repair. Repair you and repaint you. Yeah, 42 grand is alright. Back up to 109. But yeah, let's go and look at some other options for a green card that is a bit more appropriate for us. Save you news market. Nope, not buying you again. Sod off. Uh, no, not really. But yeah, Oracle Magans. Damn. Yeah, they're more like American based these ones. Or European with sort of decent size access to fields like the Bergmans and that and the Haws. But yeah, when you get to like the Conveyals, the Demcos and all that. Yeah, they're more of an American one. Ooh, beat car for Shkabit. Yeah, the Jan Tankers, that's it. Uh, yeah, so a few options we've got here. Seed Runner, like all of these would be very good, like that. That small, quaint, single axle. That's a bit larger, but single axle. 27,000 litres. You can go up to 35,000 litres. Actually, what's the price difference? That. That's a swivel axle. And that would make more sense for us, I think. You know, they like get into fields and that. But if anything, more is between the Seed Runner, the Green Car, even though we're using that over one already, so I may avoid using that one. But yeah, certain days, we'll perhaps do a little demo of this. Oh, good color palette option. Yeah, a possible option, but yes, yeah, keep our options open. Don't really spend all our money now. That will be in the next episode when we get a million pound down or something, or whatever it's going to be for all the fields. But that's even if we do that next month, we may just go straight to February and sell all of the letters and all that, but who knows. Hello folks and welcome back to Court Farm. Here we are in January now, we're in the thick of January, sort of getting towards the end. And yeah, we skipped a bit just because simply not much to need to do in. I see money's gone down, that's because we decided to buy another tractor, so as we sort of mentioned and highlighted in that episode with the Loss. I was getting to its high hours of like 42 hours it was at. So yeah, so what I decided to do was make an excessive decision, file up, fixed and repaired, and we bought the John Deere 6250R. Seven hours of work time on it, so yeah, it's not a brand new tractor. However, it's a vital addition to the farm. That's good, 300 horsepower tractor this is, and yeah, that will replace the class. I'm certain keep that for the long term. We'll see that like, with how I've been doing my tractors pretty much. If we have a look, we've gone and replaced pretty much every tractor we've got with either a brand new one or second hand. But yeah, so I think with tractors and that, we're going to be fine for that for now. We are at five grand, so we do need to earn some money. So, what we're going to be doing today is send the manure, sell the slurry, sell the milk, go to February, get all that sorted, and then, yeah, things to be a f pretty much it for then. But yeah, all the fields are being rolled and that, so if we have a look here, 100% fertilized, or we are starting to grow, 
And good thing with our wheat fields, don't need to do any wheat spraying. Because we have a look at weeds and that. Load the map. Obviously, minus bits of rolling we missed in that, which is fair enough. It's going to happen. There's no weeds, so that little bit of herbicide spraying we did initially was worthless. Wasted herbicide for nothing. Guessing because of how we did the fields and that. Maybe something along those lines, because we didn't plow everything. Or did we? I can't remember. Honestly, I can't remember. I don't think we plowed every field, but. Yeah, I got a ton of pallets here. And hopefully, get some more coming in. But anywho, we need to go into the wheel loader a sec. So, where's that to? Here it is. So, it's for his first job on the farm, it's going to be loading up the manure. It's got 70,000 litres of slurry to sell. Wrong way. And yeah, things like the eggs and that. I don't even have a pile of eggs yet, so no rush to sell the eggs. We can sell them when they're at a decent price because we missed a peak. So the next decent price for them is going to be May. Um, funny enough, it is the same time to sell our wool and that. So, May, what we can do is sell our eggs and our wool. So, if we have a look at our prices, go down here. So, eggs, missed best time in October. So May, June time, wool is going to be April and May, so we may sell both of those in May, and obviously June that's when we sell our field beans. So yeah, it's 6,000 litres there. Definitely a whole lot better loading this up with, compared to the wheel tegander. Yeah, we still got like 800,000 litres of silage in that. We could sell some in February. We may do a trade if I'm really desperate for cash, but... It would be a quarter of the only two. Oh yeah, that's enough we've got to do. We'll get done this month, so then we get approved. Within a couple of weeks, and then have the money coming into the bank account. All we need to go to the office and get over our financial statements. Part us up here for now. Because yes, the loan we're going to be looking at is quite substantial. Somewhere in the region of about 500 to 750 grand. And yeah, that's going to be a huge loan for us, but that is needed because I want to buy more fields and that. But also more equipment. So one thing we need to do is figure out a way to get TMR mix and at the moment we got Jack Crap to make TMR had the kind of use market and we do have this, we have the Kuhn SPW Tense 25.2 CL so yeah 25,000 litres it can produce but yeah it's still 25,000 litres and I think the other one could do 30,000 litres or something like that. Because, yeah, if we have the 24,000 litres, or is it two? This one here, yeah, 30,000 litres. So, yeah, no, we're going to go with that. Oh, little tanker. Does that have an extension, or is it just. No, it's just Unreal Standards. But yeah, so this will be looking at. And that's 76 grand, so. We're better off. So yeah, we've got 13,500 litres here. We've got 70,000 litres here. Then when we come back, we will clean this out, pressure wash it. And then we'll sell the milk, which we've got 4,700 litres. So. We have a look at everything. So obviously you know we'll be sending this to the sell everything container, so yeah, a grand each, eleven hundred for the manure, so not too bad. And we are at that peak price now. Maybe if we wait we can get a little bit more, but at this point, yeah, it's not really worth waiting around, especially if you go down. But for milk, best place to sell milk were not 
peak peak compared to September and that, but that's peak it's going to get now. So 2283 is the optimal. We can get 2289, is that the highest? Yeah, and that's that Pine Creek store. So where is that to? Ah, right. Fair enough, that's the BGA area. So fair enough, we can do that. And obviously everything's going to go to the manure and that's going to sell everything. No, sorry, you're sorry. And that is here. So, I think you know what to do? Let's do a time lapse. Get us all sold. And I'll see you folks once we're done. And hopefully we have enough money to buy the mixed wagon. Alright, so didn't quite earn as much as I thought we were going to get. That's a bit of an underestimate on my part. But anyway, it's going to fill this up with water. Just prepare that for when we start topping up the greenhouses over the next couple of months. But yeah, so I think how much we got here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10. Yeah, I got so many pallets here. So I think, yeah, I've got these loaded up. I think really there ain't that much else to do for in January. I will go to the bank later on this afternoon. Got an appointment there at 2 o'clock. It's in the next county over, so need to take. Actually, what's our most fastest tractor? Because we're going to hit some national speed limits and that. So 31, 31. 37. So yeah, maybe take... I think no, I'll take John Deere. 31 miles an hour is fast enough for us, so... But yeah, if we can sell all these in February. And we should get a pretty hefty amount of money for this. Hopefully, we do. Put a lot of time and money into it. It's like 20 grand for the greenhouses. The fertilizer and that. That's an expensive commodity. But yeah, I think it's worth it because it does it, what, about double the rate, typically standard, if it's just water. So the fertilizer gives it a bit of an extra boost in growth. But yeah, I don't know if it's going to be worth it or not. That's why I've only done two initially, but if we get decent profits this year, then we can start looking at expanding this. Of course, we can put, maybe put one more greenhouse in this corner here, but... I don't want to serve the country parts view too much, and that's also happy thinking of with the we're gonna get. Maybe it's worth to buy another plot of land or in heck it, another farm. Maybe something like Stonebridge Farm or Home Farm, something like that. Just so that we can have a farm sort of act as a sort of base for all of our equipment 
and it's away from the view of the country park. So yeah, I'm sure people who come here over the summer and even winter, I've still got campers here. So it's a year-round business, of course, but like it's just like the noise pollution from the tractors and that from that working around constantly, day in, day out. Especially when we're doing the late shifts around harvest time and that. So yeah, I'm thinking, because we have a look, we've got a few options for farms wise, so... And plot size, we've got a massive plot down, down here. That's a quarter of a mil. Seenbridge farm is 83 grand. Home farm is 218 grand. And I think there's another farm down here. We can potentially buy that's 235 grand. So yeah, some options. Stonebridge looks the best option for us. Maybe take a little tour down there and have a look. Wait a minute, what do we have? One line two. That's a small plot of land. Five grand. Hmm. Actually, what did we purchase that land? Actually, bear with me a sec. Yes, yeah, so stop doing this. I'm going to take a little quick detour here. Because I am curious. They were cool point out that Maybe for the greenhouses or something. If it is, we'll have a look see if it's actually a suitable spot for greenhouses. So, it's down here. Ah, this is the bakery, perhaps. Ah, that might be actually, but let's have a little check. And yes, it was the bakery, so yeah, yeah, actually purchased that. But we do have it anyway, so awesome here. We'll take a look at Stonebridge Farm. Just having thinking like super for equipment in that. Managed to have access, but permission to have a look around. A few little base store equipment in that. And I'm thinking a decent size. We don't own, we need to get purchases separately and what's this, what, pigs? Thinking pigs or something, maybe. We have chickens here, or is that part of that? So yeah, we can grow, have chickens here, I think. As well, again, boost in animal business and that. Then got storage here, I think. Yep, storage not bunker silo. I think there is a bunker silo around here. Access to another silo. And yeah, it's actually, in fairness, it's actually pretty well laid out. Space here, store, pallets and stuff and that. It's not a closed area, but it keeps it out of, dry, out of wetness, keeps it dry. Yeah, a few little bays over here to store equipment. Ooh, another campsite we could possibly look at purchasing as well. I'm look over here. So you got more rabbits. We don't have rabbits, but maybe a possible. So I'm thinking, ooh. yeah, another drive-through bay. Got another outside bunker side clamp. bay in here and yes yeah, some more bays so you know what I think actually this could be really worth it and of course there's gonna be some extra plots of land we may purchase she was 182 that is a grass field across the road so I know it's this one here right Ah, it's a camping ground, so... Wait, is it? Yeah, it's the camping grounds. 102 grand. Compared to how much did... Oof. Actually, looks bigger. But would we actually get more business, more money coming in? I'm not sure on that. But yeah, tempted. So this grass comes part of it. Maybe... Actually, I've got an idea. So let's go... 
get the drone now, just so we can get a, a review. So I'm thinking, if we get more greenhouses, we can put them in here. So I'm thinking, yeah, we could do one, two, three, at least four. Bit of a tight fit, I know. But even do that one, two, three. Yeah, four, five greenhouses, so. If you come out well, and that actually seem to be worth it. Ooh, we can even do little vineyards. Mm, uh, yeah. Olives and grapes, they are worth it. I doubt we're going to do anything like production chain wise. Then also we've got these multi crop greenhouses, and we can grow all of the crops pretty much. Strawberries and all that, your typical stuff. Also, like potatoes. <clears throat> but they do require seed, manure, and lime and fertilizer. Compared to the hydroponics, where it just requires water and liquid fertilizer, so I think I'm tempted to just stick with this. But yeah, that's an option for us in Bridge Farm. And actually, let's take a little quick at this area over here. So I can't remember what the name of this farm was, so yeah. Give me a few minutes and more seconds for you all. And yes, let's head over there and have a little look, shall we? Because yeah, this is the important research we need to do. And here we are at Elmcroft Farm, that was it, so this is another farm, let's turn the beacons off. Stop here, turn the engine off, come out, so another error for us. Some, some moist crowns. But yeah, it looks like another what, cow area looks like. Workshop area looks like silo, bunker silo. Or is that a manure heap? I think that's a manure heap, or possibly could be used as a manure heap. And this is a bunker silo. Storage. Surrey pit. I think this is for sheep, if I'm correct. So your workshop is a bit tight. I will have to admit to that. But then we get access to a huge grass and area. We get all of this. So we get. So it's not free one. Yeah, so. It's just. This grass area here. And this grass area over here. So. Decent sized potential fields. With access to 51, if you want to purchase that as a little extra field. And does we get this little area down here? Yeah, so we get this little area that's next to 33, 39, all that. So, the accessibility wise is a better option for us in terms of fields and that, but. Yeah, we're looking for more fields, but we've already got what the ones we want down. And some of them have already got crops in, or already an actual field rather than like these, which are just pure grass fields. So, thinking, you know what, heck it, we'll go with this. We'll go with 182. Get this, and then we'll have a look at some of these. So, yeah, 30 grand. 60, 150, 250, 350, 330, three, about 335 grand, give or take. Ooh. Yeah, again, we'll have some options. I'll speak to a local realtor on that, but anyways, let's continue along with loading up the, uh, what 
was it? The pallets, that's it. Get these pallets loaded up. And then, I think after that, I'll see folks in February when we go and sell them. at the moment with all the strawberries, tomatoes and lettuce we're going to be selling. And we're going to be selling it at the Tall Tree store. I did say it was going to go to February but right now it is at its peak price so I think I'm rather than risk. Oh, uh, was it, you know, maybe losing a few quid here or I think if it goes down even a little bit over between now and February, maybe lose a couple of grand here and there. At most, so you what know, heck it set it now. I'm gonna set it at the tall tree store, so we need to break and go left here. I've got the mark up so we can actually see which one it is, but rather than you all suffering through the choppy frame right here, I'm gonna go straight to this old point and sell these and see how much money we can make. And there we go, here we are. So let's go see how much we're gonna be making here. So 36, 18, and 8,000 litres respectively. And yeah, even though for different products it's peak at slightly different places, for example, strawberries, better at long meadow stores. But when you compare it to things like with the tomatoes, 1705 for where we're gonna be sending it to now. Long Meadows 1664 and then the lettuce 383 three here. Maybe slightly better if we go to the other one around the corner. Or even heck it to sell everything container or long meadow stores. But yeah, sell everything container for the others. Slightly below, so I'm thinking on average this is gonna be the best one. Yeah, if you want to sell them separately, that's perhaps what we should do. That's what we may do next time, so let's see how much money we're going to be making here. So we're at 49.5. And as we sell this, the frame rate is going to improve. There we go. And look at that money rocketing up. Wow. Was greenhouses worth it? Uh, definitely. That's 88 grand. That is a sweet deal for us. And yeah, I'll go into the greenhouses for where we're going to be placed next. That's all, again, tangible upon the approval of our loan application. 
put four down to the bank in that and said, here's what we're looking at. Four, 750 grand. And yeah, it really depends on what they say in that. We have put an offer down for cloud damages, so for example, some of our brand new equipment we've bought, including our Massey here. It's not really brand new now, we've done 17 hours on this almost, but it is brand new and still worth a fair amount, so once again we put the actual entire farm up as that was it includes all the cattle, every equipment and that. And yeah, that's worth over a million alone, so as long as they're happy now, so we set up a plan of a two year repayment. Interest rate, since we've done well on our last zone, the interest rate is going to be between 5 and 10 percent. So I'm thinking it's going to be about a 7 half percent interest rate we're going to have to pay. And you know what? Overall, I'm not too disappointed on that. That actually is quite interesting. But yeah, so our animals are looking good, chickens. They do need more feed. Cows, they are going to run out of TMR. However, we would get through all of that silage because, yeah, ooh, might as well. Because TMR is better, and I'd rather have a full set there. Horses are actually looking good at the moment, so do need to ride them today. Yeah, so fitness are at 75%. Not too bad, so at the moment they're worth 1100. I bought them for what? 500 quid or so. Obviously, buying the. Was it the oats? A little bit of an expense, but I think overall, at the end of it, it's going to be worthwhile, so. I think that's where we'll leave it today, so. Yeah, what we're going to do now is just wait on the feedback from the bank and that, see what they say. In terms of the approval of the loan application, if they do, that's great. If not, we're going to have a look elsewhere for a loan. So I really want to expand this farm in that. So going to be doing contracting business in the spring in that. We do actually have one contract, cultivation on 118. The farmer said he's away until sort of the farm season is come back at the end of February, so we've still got another month to get that done, so overall I am not disappointed on that. But yeah, so I think that's where I leave it today. It's gonna be a bit of a short one, but mixing up a bit a bit so Hello folks and welcome back to Court Farm. Here we are as we're just getting the fertilizer hooked up. We got some fertilizing work to do, but one thing has happened. If we look on the top recording screen, if I look, we got 1.4 million, and that was because of the approval from the bank to have a loan. So we got approval of 1.365 mil, so just shy of 1.4 mil. I was initially was looking for a small loan, but then I thought. Let's go a bit big with things. Let's go expand some stuff in that. So, basically, the entire farm is up as clear of damage to all of our fields. So, hopefully, this works out well for us. I've got absolutely no idea. But, as you guess, for the thumbnail of what we're going to be doing, is we're going to be buying our second farm. And this will be used as a actual farm. As we'll use regularly. As we just go and uh, buy some stuff. So yeah. This farm here is going to be more of the centre hub of all of our equipment. Where it's stored, where it's based. It's not too far away from Court Farm Country Park. However, because this is a country park, we do run a small business of managing this. So... Yeah, we need to be a bit careful of that. That's why we got this as well. It's going to be our second business to have. Actually, I think that's our third business because we're, we're a contractor. We are a farmer. And everything that implies with that is separate to being a contractor. 
and also we manage a camping business so we are diversifying our incomes even more so so yeah we're gonna do this one this one I think that's the right one there so that's got that's the workshop now which one of these has got the I should think it would help if you have animals turned on. So, so yeah, that's the ones you all yeah, you want the sheep here, so that's gonna be an, another thing as well. We want to expand the animals. Obviously what we got here is alright. But I want to go more, I want to go big out, so that's why we've done that. Also we did say we was gonna buy this field for oats. And we were looking at one of these bigger fields here, so we've got rapeseed in that field. We've got this field here, which is just a purely massive grassland. Or do we buy another plot of land? Only downside to that one is access, because I think, yeah, there's no real access way. Because you can go for a little lane here before it divides by the hedgerows to get to field 6. Unless there's a way around. But otherwise, worst case scenario, we have to go up the road and down. So, ooh. yeah, that's not going to be nothing. You know what? Heck, let's go by that. Also, do apologize if I sound a bit groggy. Been recovering from a bit of a cold in that last few days, so. But yeah, so we're going to have a little look at that in a f bit. So, I did say we've got fertilizer we need to do. So, if we go to fertilize, then we just have a look here. So, pretty sure they got nothing in yet. They got nothing. That's got nothing in yet but so what about our wheat I should know that is fully fertilized but 53 now need fertilizing we just pull out fields has that got anything in it no it has not so head up here with the Massey that's going to be another thing as well is plant season is going to be underway We have a look here to get to 53. Has to go around to 54. But it's also good is since we actually got 52, we can go through here and just actually yeah use it. Obviously, I am tempted to put a couple of a farm path in. It's got barley in. Yes, he. 98% yield bonus, so all these fields that we bought, we well looked after for, well cared for, so I think that's what matters with that, so yeah, so 53 is up here ooh, that's got weeds in everywhere, that is damn, that's got a lot of weeds We need to roll the fields first of all, actually. But obviously, it needs to be sprayed in that. Unless we. What do we do here? Cause yeah, it's cultivated. Could do with rolling it to get that seabed. So yeah, I'm not sure. But he also got. What's this here? Oh, farm sign to remove. We'll do that in a bit. So yeah, thinking if we get the roller out, can we roll these weeds away, or do we need to rip them up then with a cultivator again? I do wonder. So bear with me a sec. Whilst I just put this up, just around here. And there's the roller. 
I was finding out which shed I left this in, so can we hook it up, please? Nope. Ooh. Can we just gently persuade that? There we go. Just gently move it back far enough so we can get the pin hooked in. There we go. Just be careful of not hitting anything. It's reverse. And there we go. So, yeah. Hopefully, we can just roll the weeds in. That's what would work. Or actually, wouldn't need to be mulched. I was wondering what I was in there, but yes. <laughs> oh, that's the thing. Will this work? Or will we need to convert this into a mulcher? I don't think so, because it's been cultivated and it's just weeds growing. Worst case scenario, if this doesn't work, is just a case of getting the herbicide sprayer out, and then we just simply have to put at least one application of there. One, two applications down of herbicide round and one. But yeah, I don't know. I've never come across that problem before because usually when we do our farm prep work now, we don't get weeds growing after the fields has been cultivated, so... Oh, you know. So, yeah, anyways. We'll get this unpacked. And we'll see. And with that ready, let's go and see. So, does this work? No. Didn't think so, to be honest. Because, yeah, even though we're getting that seabed, of course, yeah, it makes sense, it does. So, there are some rocks. How big are the rocks on this field here? So, if we go to soil composition under stones, that's some pretty big rocks. Yeah, actually, well, a lot of these fields are quite heavily peppered with rocks, especially compared to our fields where we've been crafted really well. Uh, yeah, for the most part, nothing. But yes, do we do we open the rock picker? If not, that's possibly something we could look into purchasing. Ah, uh, have a look. No. So what we we'll have to do is borrow the rock picker. If we can find that, the uh, stone pickers. Borrow this one. Black wheels, why not? Chunky tires, flotations, why not? So for thirty three hundred that is pretty expensive. Of course actually what we could do is if we leave the roller here, we could rock pick fertilize and then, yeah, just whack down, get the seabed sorted with the roller and that. <sighs> Sorry about that, but that's the cold beds that are kicking in, so. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. So, yeah, we'll get it done. And then we'll start looking at our brand new farm.
And there we go. We are done with work. Eventually, yeah. Figured out we need just herb slice spray fields. That's why I'm full, far full, try some other options to get away with. But anyways, that field has been... What's it been? It's been herbicided. It's been fertilized. And it has been rock picked as well. But yeah, we'll come back to the farm with the fence. Because in the last episode, in one or two episodes, I think it was, hard to recall, as it's been about weeks since I've recorded anything at the moment, so. Ooh. Springing boy there. But yeah, anyways, we got 30,000 years of wheat and 20,000 years of fertilizer. Fertilizer makes sense of why we've got that. But the wheat, that is purely for chicken feed. Obviously, we're going to have some wheat anyways over the summer. Well, I should know more into the fall, I think it is. Ooh, stop, 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 stop. Yeah, put the brakes on. Uh, anyways, as I was saying, yeah, this is a bit of a heavy load. It is, you know, these pads are absolutely heavy. Like, four tons, 4.2 tons per pad. It. That is per had it. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, five, got ten. So, we're, yeah, we're pulling like 40 tons here. Come on, so if, I, if that math was correct, <laughs> I'm actually not sure if that math was correct or not, but anyways, come on, just we'll unload the fertilizer on first of all. And that should fill this up to capacity. And wheat, we will come through here. It's actually where is the chicken? Well, alright, fair enough. Chicken feed is here, the trough. So then, whatever's left over, we'll just store it. But also, with this new farm, we're going to be expanding everything sheep, chicken, even get rabbits. We we'll get rabbits on both farms in. Is that full or what? No, it's not full. Come on, boy. You've still got a bit more room there. Take it. Take the damn pallet. Come on. Alright, fine. It'll be difficult. Fine. We'll just, we'll leave you. Go. Sayonara. Au revoir. Uh, so now we're doing a million point turn. Don't. Alright, fine, just push this out the way. Got the horsepower, that's why we've got a 500 horsepower tractor. It's for situations like this. I don't really know kid on that, but anyway, so yeah. Chickens, I know we're going to consume more of this. I know that. So the rest will be just put into silo. Two chicks. I don't need to be squished. Not quite squished with nuggets yet. You become with nuggets at later on, but not at the moment. That's why I'm having squ squished chicken McNuggets. I don't think it'd be very YouTube friendly. Do you think? Yeah, I think they agree with me on that point, but. So, yeah, that is. Hopefully the chickens will fed. Yeah, 10,000 litres. That's going to last us a while. And as a small thing with animals capacity, it makes sense like this farm here. Even though it's sort of being seen as the main farm, there's a purpose to it. It's not just because of like how it is first. Okay, it's a country park, so it is a farm. But also, it has that tourism bit area. So, for example, in real life, Aussie Court Farm Country Park is a real place you can go visit. I've been there once on a Biker Bros wedding. Because that's one of the things as well. They just do other little things, they do events and all that. But also, they, of course, run a farm, have a farm in that. But obviously, you can't really have anything too overly heavy farming. Like on a grand scale, because having a grand scale business requires some little details here and there with working. 
And one of the things us in the UK were very known for is health and safety. And not for the good thing. It's health and safety gone mad. As a certain thing about automotive, British TV show once mentioned. If you know, you know. But anywho, so yeah, we've got 10,000 litres left here. And I am adamant we're going to have to get these in. One way or another. Even if that means me crushing to the fence. Come on. Crush into the fence with the vent. Come on. Go. Come on. Or do this. You will move. Not if you're not attached. Bear with me whilst I do a bit of video magic here. And for the power of editing, we are free. So. This is going to call our. Yeah, Cooperate with us. There is some room for fertilizer. Just go in. Hey, it moved. It went down. There we go. Nope. Rolls with his hitbox. <laughs> and it's taking both pallets. That's good. That's what we want. Thank you. Ah, oh, bloody things sometimes. But yeah, so what we're going to do next is. Get the plow on, hooked up. Uh, I think first of all we'll t have a quick tour of Steambridge Farm. It's going to take all of it. Yippee! Yep. But yeah, we'll take a tour of Steambridge Farm. And then we'll go around and start working that new field. And that's why we've kept the stone picker, is because we're going to be plowing that other field. Which of course means we'll get stones. I think if you do get stones, it won't be small stones. However, I hear they makes our life easier. It prevents wear on equipment. As well, it helps with things like reducing the risk of punctures and that. Because, yeah, not, not all stones are the same. As you may know. If not, now you know. But, yeah, so... Just getting picked. That's what makes the feels look more nice. If that's all the thing most important, it makes it look nice. As immediately, we went the wrong way. You always go left. But in a hue, it is left, right? Yeah, it is left, so yeah. And uh, yeah, that's thing I notice is a couple of areas we miss with our big old cultivation rolling session. I think it was last episode, I think it was the episode before and I think actually in fairness I was recording this on Monday, the last episode will only just gone out tomorrow as I've been recording this. As when this comes out, it'll be yesterday, so yeah. But anywho, as we're approaching our brand new farm, that's the thing so what we're going to be doing is just moving things around. Steambridge Farm. Steambridge Farm? People! People! Steambridge Farm. But yeah, so, as we talked about in the last episode, pretty sure it was, we ran around with all the other farms around, and we came to agreement on this was the best area. Just in terms of equipment storage and maneuverability. So yeah, we've got access to a grass field here. And there are other areas we can purchase and buy if we want to. For example, if we have a look at the PDA. If we go to here, I think like this area here is a horse pasture. And I think that one there is for pigs. That's just a little general area, but yeah. We could go for it, we could actually, it's not one of those fields where we can, one knows, was that the pigs? Okay, that's the pigs here. Is this one of those areas where we can sell the pasture? If we can, nice. 
Let's get. Well, it seems to be selectable, and that would be a good, deal, decent sized field. Got gate access here, and access via this main path here, so. You bring the combine forward and that. I mean, heck, this could be a good little grass field. Whilst this could be converted into a field. That's the thing, depends on if the grass here is used for grazing or if the cows are interested in the barns. Alright, you know what? That's what we do. So, yeah, this will be converted into a small field. Actually, we can remove the sheep as well. But yeah, we're not going to remove the sheep because I want to keep the sheep in. And as much as I want to, you know, do it ourselves. I think that's the amount of sheep that this is going to have. Actually, all I'm going to do is turn on interactive markers. I know this is the horse pasture area which we didn't own, so yep, let's close that for everyone who uses our trespassing. But yeah, you know what? Let's just go do it now, straight away. Let's buy all the animals we're going to need. So, sheep 200. So, and I think for these, we'll say heck it. We're just going to buy them. Dang it. I made a mistake already. Whoa. They're aged 30 months? Yeah. 30 months. Oh, yeah, I didn't pay attention, but... 30 months. Eight. Yeah, that's what I thought. So I thought, yeah, let's get some Black Welsh Mountains. 30 months old, damn, no. We'll have 108, that seems a good number. After wasting how much money on excessive, <laughs> unnecessarily. Yeah, so yeah, they'll need water, they'll need food. But food for these aren't going to be an issue. And that's what I'm thinking with our decision of not having a grass field may come and bite us in the rear end, so I think this is the rabbit area. But you know what? Heck it. Let's get some baby rabbits. Why not? So alright, that's air. Silo, yes we know. This is going to be the cows, and yeah. Alright, fair enough with these. Uh, yeah, 18 months. These are what the ones we're thinking of. And I think in reality, uh, we can get some not as aged cows like these ones, 12 months. I'm um, selling for when they hit puberty, and I'm still getting a profit. Maybe, just maybe. Ooh. Actually, you know what? Heck it. I'm gonna go for it. Let's just get a bunch of balls in. So, yeah, that is 200 Anguses. And they're gonna need food as well. But yeah, worst case scenario. Do we buy just some cheap TMR? I think. Do you have a mixer now? Do you have some equipment in? But. I just want to make sure we do have the mixer. As we just spent all of our bloody money. So yeah, we've got the bathers, forge wagon. Yep, yeah, so that came in. We bought that off camera in another episode. And we've just received delivery of that, so next time, or at least probably the episode after, we'll have a huge TMR making session. So that's that. That's that. Lastly, we need to do the chickens. 
Okay, chance of going there. Workshop, good to know. Ah, we met chickens here. Say so yes. Sweet. And yeah, if not for these, I'm not too worried about. I shall sell one because we do need a cock in here. There we go. Keep the daisies in check. But yeah, so I was interested, and I've our loan. We're down to just 44 grand. Correction, I'll be even less than that, so... Let's buy some TMR. Mixed rations. I'll say... How big is our trader? Okay, I've got the 50,000 the year forest trader, but... Actually, how big is that? That can hold TMR, so... 30,000 litres, so you know what? That's how much TMR we'll get, so... And I will hold him off for the time being. But, uh, yeah, so... Where are these two? There we go. Let's see up. One... Two... Three... Four... Five... Six... There we go, so yeah. Now what I've done. Okay, yep. Yeah. This is used for grazing and not in the barn, as I thought. Actually that also means they require milk, do not milk. They produce milk but require water, so that's gonna be another thing as well. Uh, if we get the drone out, is there a pond or a stream nearby? remains of a stream. Whether or not we can get water from this, I do not know. I'm trying to think, is there any other water source? Answer to that is a resounded nope. So either we can fill up from this little stream here. There is water in there. Bounce our thing there as we do. Let's see it come out of here. There is water here, right? Yep, sloshing off the boots. So, before it goes into this culvert, under the road, and then back out again. Well, yeah, I don't know, but. Anyways, before we go and start plowing up the field, we'll do that next week as we head into March. But for now, let's go and take food over. Yeah, we need to take food over. We need to collect the TMR and everything else. So, yep. Yeah. Okay, it's all done. And I'll see you folks in March.
it's alright then, we have been very busy, a lot more things done off camera, just get things transferred over, we're down to 12,800 and that's after sending the line gas back into the black, so yeah, first of all, we've got all of our seed and stuff out here ready, that's because we've got contracts to do, so we've got some certain ones to do. And one planting contracts. We do have some furrows of contracts. If they last long enough and see there, then yeah, we'll do those, but you never know. So, yeah, let's go to our animals. They have been fed. Oh, no, that's our court farm sheep, so yeah. They are already producing wool there. Go down here. Rabbits are doing alright. They require nothing f for the grass or hay, which we gave them. Chickens are doing alright at the moment. And our cows. So, yeah, 200 cows. We bought a bit more TMR in the end. And yeah, done the rough calculation as they are at the moment. They'll consume about 160 ish thousand litres a year. So, not too bad. And bottom, they're adults. Ah, uh, yeah, I read that they'll consume that much more. So, there's things like at the moment we've got 800,000 litres of soil just sitting there. We've got tons of straw. The only thing we're short sure on is hay. So, we're taking these three bells here that was with the other cows initially. I'm sure one of you remember to do because I had workers on. Turn. Oops. Do I look at that? Yeah, let's turn the hat back on. Yeah, traffic's back on. So, yeah, anywho, got a few more bells here, and you want heck it, we'll just go through. But yeah, the camp site is looking uh, pretty much dead. They like, went into Mars, and as you know, a lot of people was packed up and gone. So, at the moment, business ain't really booming for that. But, come the day of spring and into the summer, I'm sure we'll get more customers back. So, yeah, I'm not too worried about that. But yeah, as I've been around, just doing bits and bobs here and there, I've been having ideas of things like some of these sheds over here. We can use these to store bells and that, so when we get our grass or hay bells, they'll most likely be hay bells. But yeah, hey who? Just go over a sec and quick give these sheep. The rest of these bells here, hopefully that should get topped up. If it doesn't, then you want to be it. There you go. Ooh, there we go. That is consuming one. And that's consumed both of them, so... They still, technically still need more food, but... How much do they really need? Ah, uh, not a lot. You know what, we'll leave that for now. That's because if we head over to here, we have a look. We've got the John Deere 6250R, we've got the Merce setup over here, and we're blocking the road. Sorry. We've got the wind rower, we've got a tether that we're demoing from the Deere ship. That's going to cost us £500 at the moment per week in that in game week has over had the ends. Oops. Dang it. My bad. Sorry. So yeah, for the first week of March this will cost us five hundred pounds to demo. So hopefully we can get that done within this week. But yeah we got planted to do, we've got scene to do and not just our fields but the contract business as well because even though we're going to have a lot more plates 
We've got over a million quid in debt to pay off. And yeah, we do own this field, but we do have permission to have as a agricultural access and just as a little staging area in a corner. Actually, how much would that be to buy? 152 grand. Not too bad, but I'd rather start paying off our debts than do anything else, so we'll keep the 10 grand we've got at the moment. Or just paying off the deer ship. Uh, so yeah, we're going to get this mode because we can mow this. It is meadow grass, so we won't get too much out of it. But we'll get some grass, and some grass is better than new grass, so... Because yes, we got all of this, so... He has like, first of all, I thought, heck it, just rip it up, convert it into a grass field. But yeah, so it's got some aspects of where it can be cut, so... I thought, you know what, heck it. So yeah, we've got the bather, wind rover, tether, got the whole shebang. I was even going to get all this done in this episode. I think, you know what, let's make a start of it, so, you know what, I think this would be a good way to end the episode. Let's do a quick time lapse, get us all done, and then we'll start prepping to do some contracts. Heck it, start doing some of these contracts getting done because we also need to do our own seeding and planting for this year. And a lot of them are be planted in March. But at least at the areas is March where we get done, the quicker it'll come to harvest. Done pretty much with all the work needed. 
Now all you've got to do is just build this grass, pick it up, and move it about. And yeah, so overall it didn't take us too long to do it, I think. Certainly a little faster than initially full. Yeah, the John Deere can do with a bit of a service, because it's like, what? 80% born? Almost 74% born. Look like about a quarter, maybe a quarter or two percent left. But for now, it's fine. Yeah, the only small effect we had with it, with our equipment so far, is with the Mercer up losing about a mile an hour. But if we have a look here, go to beaters, 245, and it's beating at 13 miles an hour, so we're beating. So it struggles to get up to speed, but once it's up to speed, he does it yet the 13 or 40 miles an hour. I think it's like 30.7 it does it. Or 35 whatever, and it just rounds up occasionally to 40 miles an hour. But yeah, overall, I am not complaining, so doing double the size bells as we would do standard. See so yeah, that is about 16,000 litres I think it is of hay per bell. So yeah we're going to get a lot of bells from this. And then it should be a case of moving it around and then just transferring it where it's needed. So I think from now we'll just sort of it at Stonebridge Farms. Now when we get doing the big old TMR mixing session in about a couple of episodes time that's when we can just bring some up when we need to and just keys off combine that with the Teddy Angler, the mix wagon and all that we can have plenty full of TMR mixing I think with the 800,000 litres of TMR we got, plus with the hay we get from this, combine that with the shrew, I think we're going to make quite a bit of at least, if I had to guess roughly about 2 million litres of TMR, give or take, 1.5 to 2 mil, definitely without a shadow of a doubt. Obviously that depends on how many heat bells we get in the end of this, so yeah, that's going to be a thing as well, it just keeps off. We can get enough hay in that, because you have to use the hay and the short pad it out. They're cheap, they're easy to get. Parents silage, easier work to do. Get it quicker technically, so you don't have to wait a month for it to ferment, just Bait it, wind rope bait it, whatever it's head it, depends if it's straw or hay, and yeah, get quite instantly. Yeah, with straw, too, you have to wait for a crop to harvest, but yeah, it will be an issue for us. Like, even if we run out of straw now, we have enough TMR for the year, easy for the next two years, which is a good thing. So that can help us with sort of the longevity of the series. Because we do want to keep the series going, we'll just do things here and there. You know, maybe go to 50 episodes if we can. We're halfway there already. And yeah, we've still got plenty of work to go. Work to go. Well, the cows, they got to grow up yet. But yeah, I think go with the decision of the cows and sheep. It's definitely worth it. Cheap, we get them all straight away, and when we need to, we can just replace them whenever. Cows, they work, but overall, in the long run, it's going to be worth it again. Just as how much profit they're going to bring us once they're fully grown in about a year and a half time. So, come winter next year, they'll be ready to sell. But yeah, I know this we did say about what I said about start doing some contract work. 
I think that we'll leave out for the next episode. And this is a good way to end up just doing the bathing. We're about half done already. So, how many bells is that at the moment we've done? Ah, we don't get the. Ah, dang it, I'm not We don't get the counter. Oh, yeah, so that's one bell there. We have the ground. Two. Three. Four. Any more rounds? Four. So, yeah, I think yeah, overall we get about ten bells. Ten, twelve bells. And this being 16,000 litres. Yeah, so that's enough for now. I think if we keep this field in particular as a grass field, just for the rest of the year, we we'll get enough hay for, well, let's say the remainder of the series, but I'll definitely say for the foreseeable future. So if we plant grass in this month, we'll get another cut in May, get another cut in July. And then from then, in July, we can either do continue on what we're doing, or we'll wait till September, and we can do winter wheat, barley, rapeseed, oats, or linseed, or rye. First, I did, did say we were going to do fill beans. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. Plus we've got so much work to do. And I think with the field beans now, if we do it straight away now, with the fields we've got ready, like by the far enough we're going to be using them for, makes sense that we just quick branch out and do the contracts, because we did agree with all the contracts that we've done this month. There's no particular time frame we wanted, they just said, well it's done within the month of March, they're fine, ideally within the first couple of weeks, so we're already at the end of the first week of March. At least we still get a bit of daylight, like usually by now if it's during the winter the last few episodes. Maybe you almost like pitch black almost, so we start losing light. The sun starts to set. But yeah, we still have daylight for another three hours or so. Hello folks and welcome back to Court Farm. Here we are in March and we have been a bit busy here so we've got a lot of work to do. First of all we've been finishing off the what's it the bathing of the hay but also let's have a quick look at our animals because also in this episode we bought Stonebridge Farm and we filled it up with a bunch of animals, got a bunch of beef cow here, which are very young calves, but by the time they get to their maturity age, I think it's around 18 or 24 months, they peak, or is it 36? Something on those lines. Regardless, they'll get us a lot of profit. Also, we've got bunnies, just for experiment, and also we've got a bunch of sheep in already, we've almost got a thousand litres of wool. But yeah, so anyways, we've got to do planting today. It is planting season and got a lot of work to do there. But yeah, so let's go and have a look over here a sec. Where we've got the hay, so in that episode, I did say it was going to get about 10 bales, 10 to 12 bales. For about 10. But if we have a look here, we've got two, four, six, eight, nine bells, so not too bad. At 16,000 years each, that is an astounding 144,000 years of hay. And that's going to be useful because I think in the next episode, I think, or two for sure, we're going to be doing a lot of TMR work because we need TMR for the cows. They're running out of food. But yeah, so 
onto the planting and we bought a bunch of fuel so we've got 52 53 55 and all that and this land over here that we done the hay in the last episode yeah i'm thinking on this field here maybe do fill beans or something I'm not too sure but yeah so if we have a look at the crop window we can do our grains now but also fill beans and i'm tempted to do on one field a special crop like sugar beet but yeah so on this field by the farm we're gonna do fill beans along with 106 107 and 54 and that's going to be all fill beans because it has to be going to be learned in june we're going to get a lot of money from it and 53 and 55 been thinking of doing some grain we could do wheat but we're going to be missing the window tempted to do oats as we're doing over here but that's going to be for the horses mainly but i'm thinking of doing i don't know barley or something or rye yeah, actually, I'll do run those two fields. The field over here by the grain mill. That's going to be field beans, but the reason why I got getting the grain mill soon is because all of the wheat, barley, and oats we can get flour from. But on corn farms, we can also get rye flour. And I'm pretty sure I can't get no flour of another type or another variety. So, yeah, I'm thinking if we get a bunch of grain in diversify we're gonna have a buckload of flour and then when we head down the road go to the bakery area and we can get bread from it but yeah 45 first of all i was thinking of doing rapeseed or like canola and that because we're just gonna get that bigger field on top next to it but obviously we had to change the plans of what fields we're gonna go with so yeah i'm thinking uh, do a different crop corn maybe but I'm thinking you know what let's do sugar beet instead yeah sure why not let's do sugar beet something a bit different because yeah potatoes gonna be doing that on by spring so yeah if we end to uh, the store a sec which is over here so yeah under beat technology it's not under here at the moment don't think i've got the mod enabled but it's something i've looked recently and it's something like this like the grimy wh200s a variety of that i think it's like the lizard z something ordic but if you know your like your rustic polish equipment that you use and yeah that's we're gonna be using that to pick up the sugar beet and what I'll do, I'll pick it up, put it on the ground, and then we just have to pick it up with, I don't know, a weird odor or something, or maybe even the, like, the Lizard Forge pickup. May you sound instead. Yeah, we could go with it. your typical sugar beet equipment that the base game provides, but I want something a bit different. So, anyway, so let's go into the crops. Trying to think of what crops can we do with the cedars and planters because I'm not sure if you could do like the f yeah, I'm pretty sure we could do the field beans. Yes, we can. We could do the field beans and that with the planter, and according to that one, we could do canola for some level reason. But yeah, so field beans and everything has all got to be planted in March. So if we could do that. Then we can harvest it around, what was it, August, September and that. Obviously if we did winter barley and all that, we could harvest that in July. But yeah, it's one of those things. We missed the window to do it last year. That's because we had a lot of work to do in that and a variety of other reasons which I'm not sure why. Plus well, a lot of these new films we didn't have them at the time. We were sitting on for that loan application from the bank to get that massive 1.365 million pound loan, what it is. Or along to something like that, I can't remember exactly for sure. And, oh, that is the map boundary. And that's actually another thing as well. I do like this map, like Court Farm. 
and some other maps, it's like the boundary is just, it goes on, there's no like distinct off. Here's the map, you can play on this map, and then there's some like weird, not re rendered, obscure texture in that of a vague boundary in that. Obviously, Oxy ain't one for it as well. You got things like GB Modding, I think he does Six Ashes on FS19 and Aston Park. That's what's the Nancy Boy with some of his maps like Sting Valley and his recent map American Falls. But yeah, so anyways, now what we're going to be doing is, first of all, a lot of work on this field. We're going to, we're going to do is plough it up because this was a grass meadow. So we need to plough it up, lime it, stone pick it, and even maybe have to roll it to get that seabed in. Not too sure if we could do that. I think we'll risk having the effect on the yield if we didn't roll it to get that perfect seabed in. Yeah, it will make it a bit difficult to work on, but you know what? I'm going to work on that. But yeah, so anyways, this is going to be a lot of work to do. And if we do without smashing the fence in. But yeah, anyways, we'll get us done and I'll see you folks in a few moments. are done. It took us all morning. This field is prepped as to see. Apart from being fertilized, but that we can worry about later on. But it's been plowed, it's been lined, and it has been stone picked. So already we had a full load with the stone picker. And we've got an additional 435 litres. So that is 2,935 litres. And yeah, that'll go back into the stone crusher, get some lime, and I'll get a little bit of extra money coming in. Also, I did forget to mention on top of the episode of where I see our money's gone up. So in the time lapse, you'll see at the end either some images or clips of us doing some furrows and contracts. 
and yeah, I've got pretty decent money out of it. Including one contract where we gave them some fertilizer in return, and they paid us for that fertilizer respectively, so... Say as you wish on about that, but I think, yeah, it was a fair deal. Made a bit of a tiny profit from that. But you know what? It is what it is, so... Yeah, we're down to 36 grand now. And actually, I'm thinking... We can start repaying off some of this loan, so... Oh, uh, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. Pay 3 grand. Or 35 grand. Average down to 1600 quid left. Yeah, that is a bit of a mm, moment there, but... Don't worry, we get our money back, because remember, we've still got the field beans to sell in the summer. Oh, no, sorry, in sp late spring, early summer. I think it's around June's the best price for them, so. Yeah, actually, overall, ain't too bad. So I think we've got like 60,000 euros, and when we sell it at its peak price, we'll get about a quarter of a million. And that's just from some small fields and that, I wasn't, well, we'll say small fields, that's just from the one by the green mill, and I think the one by the farmyards here, so. But yeah, we're going to go all out on the beans this year, along with the grain, so we have to fill beans and that. They'll sell in June next year when we plant them in this episode. And also, we got the grain, we'll get the wheat and all that, and that be converted into flour. And then from that, we'll get bread respectively. So if we have a look here, so look at our production is bread. It's a 2 to 1 ratio, flour to bread. And then if we go down there and have a look, actually, is it worth making bread or what? So... Peak price for flour is two thousand pounds. Bread is five and a half grand, so yeah, it's worth doing that. And we're gonna be harvesting the wheat and all that as early as July. And I think for like the rye nat it's the same window, yep. So if we plant it now, the rye will be harvesting that in September, so yeah, August to October is going to be a busy month for us. Ideally, don't to do wheat again because that will mean it'll be September when we'll be harvesting. And what's the ratios? So, yeah, suit one. So, we we'll get about 2,000 euros of bread per month. So, yeah, anyways, what we can do now is return soon picker. We did incur a hour lease on it, which is a bit of a shame. But now it's time to do the planting, so I think whilst we're here, we'll put the fill beans on. So, is that fill beans? Yeah, that is fill beans. So, sort of recap fill beans, fill beans, fill beans, and fill beans. Thinking these could be barley, barley, barley. Down here, I'm thinking fill beans. Here, fill beans. And up here is going to be the sugar beet. So, since all that planned out, it's going to take, I think get all done in one episode, that's for sure. Also, we're in March still, so. On Whatever fields we plant in March, you want to have them rolled as well in March as well, because otherwise, that's where we set the growth state. But yeah, we've got the fence, lights on. As usual, we have our pre planting check so all the hoses are connected, hitches on and secured. Have a look here at the furrows and the wheels. They look good. Tubes connected to the hopper. Looks all good. Yep, a little bit dirty in that, but 
that I'm not too worried about. If it gets too dirty, then we will give it a quick wash, but turn this on. Make sure there's no air leaks. No, all good, no leaks, no nothing. And we are seeding. Or planting technically this is, so I think if we I should also sugar beet, so plant it now. We'll harvest that in October, so that's good then, so yeah, we have a uh, window off. Everything's not going to be ready at the same time. Everything's going to be sort of spaced out. Which is good, so... I said, come harvesting time, we can focus on doing contracts as well, not just our own harvest, so... And that's going to be the crucial thing here, is having that window off where we can do our own harvest and that. But also, we can do contracts for other farmers and that, because... Yeah, remember last year we did so many green contracts. We got three million liters of shroom. As we feel pile on, good. We're starting off well. Starting off on a high because it's a direct drill. We'll go over those bits we forgot to cultivate in that, and dang it, that's another pile on. Stop hitting the pylons, then, boy. But yeah, overall, going alright so far. Should have enough seed. If not, we can always buy some. Well, yeah, can we buy some more? Buy what we can with our 1600 quid, but yeah, perhaps giving all that money back to the bank. Well, that's a bit of a mistake, but. I'm sure there'll be contracts popping up for seeding or fertilizing. So if we have a look, look at the soil. So not that. Yep. So a few fields need to be seeded and planted. So no, that's ours there. So yeah, got some big fields. So yeah, got all the big fields still to do. And yeah, so they could be wanting grain, or they could be wanting things like corn, sunflower, and soybeans, which will be in April or May, or whatever it shall be. But anywho, oh, bloody hell, I'm hitting everything today. Come on, we've done heading now. There's no more things to hit. So as we just scrape the barn again. Barn shed, not shed that is. But anyways, we'll get this all done, and I'll see you folks when we are done with this, and then we'll start doing some rolling, I think.
go, so not quite completed the seeding of the Philippines. However, we are one stuck at the gate. That's the problem with areas. Navigating through the gates. Nope. Let's hit that. Nope. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. Come on. There we go. Get perfectly aligned. Probably screwed there on the bump, so we'll correct that. But yeah, so as I was saying, we are pretty much out of sea. We've got 132 litres left, and we've still got two fields to go. We've got the big field down here, and we've got this one up here by the green mill. So yeah, what we need to do now is top this up with some seeds. Oh, is that a tank thing? Oh, well, that's derelict and not in use, and... Oh, that's in the way. Come on. What we're going to do is just scoop this out of the way. So, yeah, we've got two fields to go. I'm still got the wrong to do, but... Yeah, it's just gone half past two. I think it's time for a spot of lunch soon, so... We'll have lunch in a bit. Whilst we're here, let's give cows cow some more stroll. There we go, there's still a bell in there. There we go. But yeah, so I think next time what we do is start doing the... I won't finish this off, but... Yeah, get some TMR being made, because we do need TMR. Yeah, this is the limits of big tractors and big fields, so... Well, big tractor and not big fields, but big equipment. Because what's catching is these wheels here. If they were just chopped off now, it'd be perfect. Fit for the gig's fine. But new, so... Bear with me a sec here. There we go. No issues whatsoever, so... As I say, it's lunchtime. Actually, fairly, it's getting towards pre evening, so it was almost supper in a few hours, but I think we're going to be working into the evening on this, so. Anyways, we'll get this topped up with seed. There we go, it's going to positioned under the auger pipe. There we go. That's filling up nicely, and how much seeds we've got? Ooh, 3600 there, so... Just gonna take most of it. Well, hopefully we don't need more seeds. Also, it might have gone up a little bit, because that's because we sold the line. Yeah, only a thousand years left, so... How much is it gonna be for seeding that, so... For a thousand litres, we're kind of at 800 quid. Free run for that, it's a bit expensive. But even for like the bigger bags of seeds, we're looking at 2,700 quid. So, we've got enough money to buy another bag of seeds if we need to. I think for now, we're going to have some lunch, so let's go and quickly pop over here. And give us all a little quick wash. Because obviously we're going on the roads now, so we do need to be courteous of the locals, including car drivers. But more importantly, the more vulnerable road users like motorcyclists, because the last thing I want is to chuck a bunch of mud on the roads. And then, you know, from motorcycles come along and potentially not see it. And get caught out and have a moment, because, oh, oh, trust me, as a motorcyclist, that's one of the worst things you could ever imagine, is going through a bend, and especially a bend, especially if it's been raining, which here in the UK does rain a fair bit, let's say, that's just one thing it's quite known for, is the weather and that, so, 
Well, yeah, that's the mud washed off. So there we go. Did the four turn out as well. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, this is a like, 12 meter, so. Well, the length of the tractor, which is like, what, 2 meters? 2, 3 meters? Plus there, so 15 meters of maneuvering. Clips to walk here and there. So, yeah. Navigation around the yard and that can be difficult, but can be done. This is an issue as big as we can just about get away with, depending on what field we're going into and the route. So, thankfully, the Grey Mill is essentially up the road and into the Grey Mill. Why turn in? May have some difficulties down there at our new field, but. Anyways, that's where we're going to leave it today, so yeah, we're going to have some lunch, and in the next episode, we've got TMR to make, also to finish off the planting, so, got a fair bit of work to do, but as one of things, it's always in the day's work, there we go, take our boots off, hello folks, and welcome back to Court Farm, here we are, we've just had lunch, and we are going to be continuing with the seeding and planting of our crops. So yeah, let's have a recap of what we've done in last episode. So in last episode, we start to seed our field. So we've got almost all the field being done here on the south part. Now we need to head southwest to get this done. And then I think the same is going to do this one here. Yeah, this one here is also going to be field beans. And of course, these two fields are going to be barley. Well, actually, you know what? Let's change up. Let's, let's do that barley as well. Let's have a huge grain harvest in the winter. Oh, well, in the autumn, so. But yeah, anyways, we need to head over here. So let's get over there. We need to head out the farm, up the road, around the corner, and down. So yeah, at the moment, we are at only just have five grand at the moment and no more contracts has popped up yet. We do have some vegetables we can sell. Which may be a thing we do because I want to change things up a little bit here. Because obviously, as we learned over the winter, the hydroponic greenhouses are very useful, so I'm thinking of expanding that. Get a little area, there's a new area, could be here, could be somewhere else, don't have to look into that, head over here, also thinking to sort of switch things up a bit and diversify even further what I'm doing, of getting some apples in, because I think we can grow apple trees here. And also, I think there is a production for that. Production, we're going to be struggling to touch at the moment, because I think the production chain for the apples, get apple juice and honey, is what? I think about 75 grand or something? Well, we're almost here now at the field, so we can have a little quick look. But yeah, this has been topped up, this has been washed, so we don't get any mud on the roads. We are just approaching the field. I think it's yeah, this one here, Castle House. Yep, tell by the fences that I've crashed into whilst we was plowing, liming, and still picking this. So, anyways, let's go and get some folded. So, yeah, let's have a look a bit more in detail of what I was on about. So we head into productions under green houses. Obviously, you've got the hydroponics, they're 10 grand each. And okay, they're not there. Are the orchards? Yeah, so apple trees. So get little apple trees put in for about 1500 quid. And I'm thinking if we head back over to the farm area. 
Like these, we can put these pretty much anywhere, so... If we can, if we get rid of like some of these, that tree over there, I'll whack a bunch of these down. Obviously, that does require... Actually, what is the spawn point of those? Do they produce paddits or... Actually, you can put them down here, perhaps, so... Nope. We head to orchards again. So, yeah, alright. We see a bit better now, so... But yeah, certainly we can whack whack some down here, so maybe a bit of terrain work is needed. Well here Actually, you know what? Let's let's do that, so soften terrain a bit around here. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be doing much, but yeah, so again, back into orchards, so of course gotta be mindful of things like putting the water in, but yeah, certainly I'll say put them there. Another one there. And a another one there. If he can get some more money, we can plop them in. Because we look at the prices, so... Where is it? Two prices. Head down here, and we can have a little look for the apples, so... Maybe a bit further down. So yeah, apples themselves. About 1800 to 2000 we can get, so we can probably sell them all year round. We get apple juice, which is just apple and water. From the production, and yeah, again, 3700 to about 4100 or so. All your sell round price is good. Apple honey, so. Does that require sugar though? That's gonna be the problem, so. Under productions, factory, so. Not the plant expansion. Obviously, it requires honey and sugar, so. And this is a pretty big thing as well. We need to find a suitable area. Like, over here. Actually, that would be very good. However, I'm also thinking about putting the greenhouses here. So... Because, yeah, I think we did mention this last time. So, yeah. We can have... One... Two... Three, four, and like five here. I have a little bit of space here to obviously come in and that. And we do own this area as well, so I'm thinking. So yeah, that's gonna be, let's say six, that's 60 grand. We'll just get a few more trees in, so that's that. Is there anything contracts wise at the moment? Also, let's look at our fleet of. Is there anything we can temporarily get rid of? There's that. Yeah, I do want to plant trees down, but I think, you know what? Heck it. That was a bit of a unnecessary purchase. Could always lease, lease that, actually, so. I think, you know what? Heck it. What's up, that? No looters, we still need that for the baiters, wind rowers. Uh, the thing is, like a lot of these, we can lease when we want to. Actually, it ain't a bad idea. Because for when doing contract works, so when we get the actual grass contracts coming in, we can lease them for months at a time and we we'll still get a profit from them. So, yeah, I think, you know what? Let's do that. So, that will sell. So let me go and locate that a sec. And here it is, so yeah. So yeah, I think when we service this and all that, we paint it, we'll still get a bit of profit in turn. Take the unconventional line there. 
but yeah, I think if we do the greenhouses first of all, so excuse me there. So I'm thinking again, soften terrain. I think it's pretty soft already. There's like no weird peaks or mounds, so yeah, there's like very little. I think, oh, okay, see where it starts to lip up at the edge here. It's hard to see, but yeah, it starts to lip up there, so thinking, but first of all, we need to put a pad down, so thinking gravel. Yeah, if we gravel all this over. Can obviously try not to go over bits. That's the only thing actually ain't gonna let us do go over by much of what we don't own. There we go. There we go. I'll just be back. Those small details like that. So. If you bear with me a sec, I'll get this all painted up, and then I'll sell this, and then we'll come back once we have done that. And there we go, so, yep, got everything all done, and let's turn interactive markers off. So yeah, we've had some money, and now we've got no money left whatsoever, so... Yeah, so first of all, have a look here. So, my idea of having like six greenhouses wasn't going to work. Like, it was it too big and that? Leave spaces and that. So, yeah. So, end of it, still got five. Like, can't remember how much we got over the winter for no fruit and veg, but yeah, we got one, two, three, four, five. Wait a minute. One, two, three. Yeah, five. I mean, I have six in, but no, we don't. I'm not gonna put water in these ones just yet. Um, yeah, we're gonna need a lot of water, and I mean a lot more. Like those greenhouses alone, think take about thirty thousand liters. Let's see. Around we have peppers in this area. I was going to say it wasn't the best. It's going to hit. Yeah. Well, when we come around and fill up in the time lapse, whatever it is, yeah, we will do something different. But yeah, we have a look. We've got juicy little apples growing. And how much do they take? All of it. That's the problem, that is, because if you go out here, we've got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen orchards. We've got fifteen apple orchards at five greenhouses. And if we have a look in the extensive productions tab. 20,000 years is the exact limit of these, so that's going to be fun. And greenhouses, they hold 30,000 years each, so we're going to be making at least 20 trips, 5 greenhouses, 15 orchards, plus extra, so ooh, yeah. I think what I'm going to do is, rather than, I think, yeah, we'll do a little time lapse now do some of this and the rest we will just do off camera and then I'll see you folks in the morning for when we start doing the last of the fill beans yeah it's gonna be a week out uh, it's not really ideal 
Actually, you know what? Okay, let's do actually that first of all. We can wait on apples and that, they can wait, so... Yeah, we can get a source down here now, but it takes forever to fill the tankers up, and... Mario goes to the farm on the pond... ...and just do that instead, so... Yeah, let's go and get this done now. So, we'll just back this up. Smash from hedgerows. Don't stop. Oh, do, yeah, do sop. Do sop. Do sop. Do. Oh no. We've been here for a minute and we're already in traffic's way. Sorry. Sorry. Just want to hit that sign. I'm so. Don't you move forward, you sh caravan. Nice car. What's that? Fiesta or what? No, no, it's an SUV. Of course, it's a typical SU SUV. Why do people need to have SUVs? Yeah, I admit it, this is the countryside. But you ain't gonna go that far, ain't ya? Oh, fuck. Come on. Come on. Oh. You stupid. Just stupid. Anyways, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted there by some maniacs in their SUVs and cars and that. We are going to get this planting done. Obviously, the rolling can wait to roll in by the end of the month, but... That's the thing, if more contracts pop up, that's going to take us our time out of it. Because we do really need money at the moment, so... This is going to be a very tight planting window to get everything seeded and rolled. But I'm up for a challenge. Okay, yeah, why not? But anyways, I'll get this all done. And I'll see you folks in the morning. Because we're going to be working into the night, I think, for this.
And there we go. We are in the third week of March. And as you can see, we are pretty much done with everything. Just giving a little more on top of with the liquid fertilizer. And yeah, that took an age to do. But uh, yep, yeah, all done. So all our greenhouses are going very well now. We're at negative mine now because we had to pay the loan interest overnight, so... Yeah, we need to do some contracts soon or something. We did sell some milk yesterday. Didn't get too much out of it. Uh, we got about, what, 3,700, 3,800 quid out of it. And that was a very much needed because I've done a bit of looking around last night and frankly this morning it's all being plumbed in, all pumped up. We've got a little linkage system, linkage system going up to the other greenhouses from the main farm here. Because I was thinking, make all the trips back and forth. It's going to be a bit arduous and treacherous, so what I've got and done as we just put the fertilizer back into the main tank so it's safely stored is getting a little distribution network in so if we head over here let's hop over the fence obviously we've got this pond here rather deep so what I've got and done is or what I was say what I've got someone else to do was Someone came in, pretty much this up to down here to this little tank here. This holds a lot of water. I pretty much is an infinite amount of water, basically. It's constantly running and pumping down all the way to Stonebridge Farm. Gold linked up with underground hoses and pipes. And now we've got an infinite source of water coming from the pond, heading down here to the greenhouses. Also, we managed to get a little system up here to the farm and to those greenhouses over there just because of the pressure of the water coming from the pond down is enough to not only push it downhill to Simbridge Farm also provides just enough pressure to push it uphill a little bit it's not really much of a hill but it's an elevation nevertheless so but yeah so we have a look here we got weeds growing in these rolling. So yeah, that's that. So but I think before we do the rolling, I think worst case we'll do all the rolling at the end of the month. So yeah, if we have a look at the PDA, it's all looking good. All we need to do now is do the barley in these fields. And then the potatoes in 45. I think we can do the potatoes in the next episode. Also, do you need more money coming in? We do have Surrey in that. Got Surrey, got a bit of New York here and there. Get a couple of grand from that. Because, yeah, it's going to be quite expensive to at least the potato. Actually, no. In theory. Oh no, sugar beets, we're doing not potatoes, sorry. Sugar beet, not potatoes. So, yeah, we've got the. Uh, actually, our planter can do potatoes, I think. So, that's not going to be an issue. If it, for whatever reason, we can do potatoes, can't get potato seeds in, then we'll just lease a potato planter and just do it that way. Ideally, I don't want to do that, but. But anywho, where am I going? We need to find the solitaire. And I think it's down here. It is, so... Actually, we can cut through here. Uh, do, 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 do. Excuse the chickens. Yeah, head down here. And there's a path down here. Yeah, also, we do need to start making some TMR soon. Because, yeah, I think if we have a look at our animals, sheep are okay at the moment. I was going to let the slice run out here, but then we really do need 
here more underway soon. And the Super British Cows are doing alright at the moment. Still a few months worth of TMR, so there's a major rush game done. And also, I just noticed when we brought some TMR over the winter, for whatever reason, I have accidentally left uh, a few pallets of TMR at the shop. So, there you go, that's our source of TMR for the next couple of months, just there we go. Maybe about two months worth of TMR got. That's sort of about 20 ish thousand a year, so. Yeah, that's just about two months worth. But, anywho. Ah, no. Actually, as I remember, or sort of planting, we're doing rye here. Rye flour, not barley. Need to remember that, so. Select barley. Alright. Just turn it on. And I just want to make sure everything's working. As usual. Yep. Uh, these are connections all hooked up. Hitch is on. The pin hook. Hoses are going. There's no leaks or anything. Of course, it's all automated by the computer, so I won't just dump seeds. We only put seed down as we go along, but. Yeah, everything's so good. We've already done our pre seeding checks. But, uh, so Harmon just double checking. So, yeah, overall, I am happy. Pop into the John Deere. And there we go. We are seeding. So, guessing because of this, we'll still get wheat spite spraying it. Yeah, we're still going to get wheat, so. Obviously, we could do it now with the weeder, apparently, but I'll wait till they're a bit more established in that, and then we'll set the furrows, not the furrows, spread the herbicide sprayer, and then we'll just do it that way. Well, yeah, so, anyways, we've got a bit of work to do. This shouldn't take us too long. Oh, wait a minute, it's this wheat. I know it's barley, thankfully. Don't check. Wheat, barley, yeah. Phew, I thought we planted the wrong crop there then, but. Nope, for not. Even if it was a mistake, it's only a room saying we picked it up, and we just have to simply cultivate it, and then all is all good. But yeah, anyways, we'll get it all done, and I'll see you folks once we're done here.
go. We are almost done with all the seeding. We're just doing the rye field over here, or I say we're doing rye. Got the cultivator because, yeah, we made a little mistake with accidentally putting barley in the first bit of this, so simply put. I'm just gonna go over to about there, give or take. And I'll just turn around. Luckily, we picked it up quickly, as we mentioned just before the time lapse up about Nippy making a mistake, or the possibility of making a mistake, and it turned out we made a mistake here. But anyway, so we have a look now. Fertilized, fertilized. Right, so that is all good. I'll check in the field info here. And there we go. So yeah, that's that little mistake all sorted. We'll leave that over there. Actually, I'll just follow this up quickly. There we go. Whack you there. And we finish off doing the right field in the John Deere. Oops, left it running. Shouldn't have done that, but oh well. But yeah, overall, not too bad. I'm actually liking how it's coming out. So we have three barley fields, four wheat fields, and a rye field, and a little oats field over there. So, yeah, come fall, We've been having lots of flour, and in res result, in result, oh, what's the word for it? I'm uh, not sure, but in course, that's the words, we're going to have lots of bread. So we have grain get into flour, and then we'll convert that flour into bread. And we're going to make a lot of money from this, I think, actually. And the way it's needed, at the moment we are all struggling financially. That's because we've took a risk, we've took the gamble of not just buying more fields, more equipment, but also just in general with the orchards. That's a gamble. I know they'll pay off, but it's a long term investment. Maybe we could sell some apples. Net towards the end of the month for that, but because yeah, we'll have a pile of apples at the end of the month, and perhaps our first lot of apples we will sell them just to keep the farm in the black. So at the moment, we are deep in the red. But yep, yeah, so I will continue on this, and next episode, we need to think about getting these fields fertilized and rolled. Also, TMR production, even though we don't need it at the moment, we're going to get some underway, I think. Hello folks, and welcome back to Core Farm. Here we are in the third week of March, and yes, yeah, just gone dinner time. We have been a little bit busy, so in the last episode, if you haven't watched it, please do. We've come the Apple King as sort of the random Taiwan named episodes. So yeah, we got apple orchards in, we got 15 apple orchards I think it was. We got five new greenhouses in, hydroponic ones, so we're gonna have a lot, and I mean a lot of stuff coming out. The apples, when they start popping up, I pretty much sell them at any time, and I think first of all that's going to be the exact plan for us, is to sell them, as typically when we start planting, we are already crushed in stuff. But yeah, so, yeah, that's going to be interesting. We need the money at the moment. Currently, we're getting about 70 quid per hour. That is just from our businesses of the campsites, as being a 50-50 owner. Was it 50-50? I think it's a majority stick ownership. Basically, someone runs it on the DC business, we're just the ownership. We provide finances. If things go wrong with the campsite, then obviously we are as an like, investor and part 
the main owner. That's where we stand in, but at the moment, getting decent income for now, which is needed since we're at minus 439 quid. I think towards the end of the last episode, it was like something like minus 700 quid. But yeah, so if we have a little stop here. Also, we've been seeding, so to recap, 55, 53 are barley to match to 52. That's going to be ready first. Then there'll be the wheat, then there'll be these barley and rye. So if we have look at the crop calendar, the wheat, we plan to that in November. So that should be ready around August time, I think. What was it mid? Yeah, August for the wheat. First bit of barley will be in July. But this barley that we're just planting in now, we're looking at perhaps September. The oats that was already there, that's going to be ready in July. And also we planted the rye now. So I'm thinking that's going to be maybe August or September. And we're currently planting the sugar beet in. And that'll be ready for October. So basically, between July and October, we're going to have a lot of work to do. And yeah, I'm actually quite excited for it. Obviously, in June, we're going to be finally sending those in. So that's going to be a couple of episodes down the road, but yeah, so what we really need to do now is finishing off the planting here, then we need to start rolling, and also the main goal in this episode is going to be about the TMR situation. Yes, we've got plenty of TMR for now, we don't really need TMR at this time, however, still be worth getting a bunch of it in now. Also, it'd be interesting if you could put it into the main silo at the farm, or you have to put the TMR into the little farm silo uh, by basically where we started this series on our little yard area, opposite of the green mill by the home farm area up there. Hopefully, you don't need to, if you could just whack them in the silo at the main farm at Court Farm Country Park. However, I am not sure now. Also, I mean, Finding, going on this top down view, it's not just good for time lapses, it's actually good for us in general. Even though they have to be immersive in cab and that, it's just, for the sake of like videos and that, eh, yes, yeah, so that's the problem there. Oof, hopefully we've got everything there. Now we're going off skew, so let's go and correct that. But yeah, so anyways, I'm just getting this all done. Start off with a little quick time lapse, and then I think we'll start dealing with the TMR thing because we've yeah, got a bit of time to deal with the rolling situation so yeah, I'm not too worried about that. But yeah, I guess we're all done and I'll see you folks in a few moments. <laughs>
there we go. So we are finally done with all the seeding and planting. And yeah, let's just quickly show that it's pretty much how we're storing our equipment. So let the lights on, turn those off. So yeah, this is where we're keeping our tractors at the moment. So we've got two John Deere to fence. And the Massey is at the farm with the mixer already all hooked up. Over here is where we're keeping our combine and this is where we're keeping our cultivator. Our main equipment are stored in the shed here, but I need to remember for access so got a baker, access there, and then got the mirrors hooked up here or so just in case I'll drive it out, turn around and whatnot to get all hooked up. And uh, yeah, the tether we're on the site at the moment is around there. We'll keep it until April, but if we don't get any contracts in April, then yeah, we we'll really need to consider about returning that. Because so I think we're already paid five hundred pounds towards the down payment for the first week, and obviously for the rest of the month it's going to be another fifteen hundred quid, about two grand per month. So yeah, we need to get some money coming in, sharpish to pay that off. Even if we don't use it by them, we're having it at the moment as a demo, so... Yeah, oops. Very good steering. But yeah, so we're going out to the farm now, because I want to get some mixing done, so... We're going to the mixer out with some straw. We empty the straw into the farm silo. Next to the brain mill. Ah, yeah, I'm thinking perhaps we won't be able to store it in the silo. But I guess that would be the case, which I think so. Mm. I was thinking if one of those bunkers were empty, you particularly need a close one. And yeah, we can just store the TMR in there, dump it in there, and scoop it out whenever we need it. That's what I think we'll do, but. I think that's going to be a bit challenging, so on the farm at the moment it's just really our trailers and that, which we'll, we'll get moving down at some point if we need to. So yeah, if we pull over here for a moment, going to here, we've got 4,000 litres of straw, technically we don't need straw, you can just do a hay and sludge mixture. But straw is always good, just act as a little, basically to pad it out, so I think really you should be using the wheel loader. Because yeah, this is only a dinky amount. So you know what, we'll get the wheel loader for the silage. But we can use this to grab and control the bells, so... So we need some hay bells, so I think if we grab a bunch of them, there we go, just pull these out. I think if we start off with just three bells, plus he has 16,000 litres each. There we go. just to control how much hay we're putting in that. So at the moment we got the most abundant is silage so that's 30,000 litres so grab this hay belt. There we go. Yeah, just shove them over here. So yeah, 25% of 30,000 litre is what? 7,500 litre. So really, we want just shy off half of this going in. And dang it, couldn't access it. He went does that sometimes. So anyways, we'll start putting some of this in. And hopefully we can control how much is going in. Go. 
So yeah, 8,000 years left, or 8,500 years. I'll say call that it for now. Next. Let's grab the wheel looter. And that's in here. That's in the way. Hopefully we can just pass. This holds what six thousand years, eight thousand years, yeah, six two hundred years. So we just go and whack that in. There we go. And it's definitely, it's definitely two scoops. If we, if we do two scoops of silage. Actually, if we do three scoops, that is what? 18,000 years. Then we'll just put the hay in. If it was just a hay and size mixture, that'd be perfect. Give or take. We need to grab one more. And then we'll just have a little quick look on how this is all going to work out. A sec, then we we'll grab a funnel here, and then we'll start having a look at the TMR. So, yeah, with the thumbnail sorted in some way, you've got to figure out actually which food would be the best for the thumbnail, but that's for a future farmer envoy to worry about. So, yeah, we go into the train now, we turn our field info on. Ooh, okay, so we do need. A little bit more hay, as I suspected. No problem. I see that. No problem. Actually, what the heck? Just shove that bell in there. There we go. So yeah, now look at that. That is perfect. Actually, it's not twenty-five percent is the minimum for the hay. It's what twenty-two and a half percent. And then 77.5%, I don't know, for silage. But, anywho, that is our first mixture done. So, I think for now, what I'm going to do is simply dump it on the ground. Peeking somewhere here, so it's like left. So, yeah, this is going to be a dumping ground for now. So, keep on the mixture now. Make sure to get to the point where we're going to have too much grass in, or hay, whatever. Oh, stopped. Ah, that's going to be a problem then, if it ain't going to let us just rampantly fill it up to the max, or fill this area up, so... There we go. Alright. So, yeah, that took all of it, so... Yeah, at some point it was more of a hay-rich mixed portion, which... Perhaps it's not the most ideal, maybe, I don't know... But it simply does the job for now, so... But if we can, say, I don't know... Grab this... Can you put it in ourselves? There we go. So let's say, yep, yeah, that's enough. If we can do that, then we can actually scrap some straw bells as well. Ooh, perfect. Straw, come here. Basically, this is just to pad it out and out. Hey, take under, stop seeing my bales. So, what's that, 18,000 years, so about 3,000 years or so? Really, you should be using as much of the straw as possible, so... 
what's that about 30% so a third of 3,000 years, 10,000 a year so about yeah I think if you start from the straw do about 8,000 a year so it's really you want to be using the straw more that's the aim is okay right now what we're gonna do I'm gonna stop that there Forget about you. And then start grabbing the signage. So, then we quickly get this one here filled up off camera a sec. There we go, that's worked out well. So, did need to add a little bit more hay. About another few thousand litres or so. I think, yeah, if we try to stick to. 25% hay, 20% straw, and the rest silage, or half silage, so that'll be 6, 12, 2.5 and notes, and then split it between the hay and straw, so yeah, quarter is 15, 7.5 years, and 20% is 6,000 years, so 6,000 years of straw, let's say 6,000 years of straw, 8,000 years of hay, and the rest is just silage. If we can keep that mixture up, I think, yeah, it's the best. We won't try to use more straw, because hay is what we've got least at the moment. Yeah, we've got 140,000 years down at the farm, or Stonebridge Farm, but yeah. Obviously, this is going to be a problem, and I think it's already coming a problem. Fun to be honest. Yeah, because always just cart it down and feed it to the animals straight away. Which, in hindsight, probably the best thing to do, actually. But, you know what? Here, okay, we'll just do it this way. See how it goes, see how it works out. Obviously, it's going to be dirty food for the cows. How do I feel about that? Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, it's just pretty much my response. And yep, yeah. no say about having issues. We've already hit those issues, so I think you know what. For the next match, we'll do, which will be in the form of a time lapse. I think just simply cart it down to the cows at the bridge farm. I think that's perhaps the best thing to do. That's, yeah, don't have to deal with this. <laughs> but yeah, so anyway, so that's how a little fun with doing this in time lapse. See how it goes, and I'll see you folks afterwards.
are making for now. So basically, what I've done off camera was just continue on with the TMR making after the time lapse. And pretty much use all the hay that was there at the main farm. Obviously, you've still got 144,000 a year or so. In theory, was I using about 20% of the hay for a TMR mixture, so in theory, that is another 700,000 years potentially we can have. But anyways, we'll be overloading this. Because if you have a look, already we've got 350,000 years. Plus another 30, that yeah, is 386,000 litres. Now is the task of the rolling. However, there are some things we need to take care of urgently. For one is the money situation. It's like, okay, alright, we're struggling, semi struggling at the moment. But really, we shouldn't be struggling, and we got a lot of signage now at the farm. And I was thinking, you know what? Heck it, let's just sell some of it. Let's say, get the, well, sell this, get about 15 grand or so. Or, just have a bit of that boost, in case we do need to leave stuff, like a wind rover and that, or whatever, before we sell the linseed seed in that in June. We'll get the massive Trans 70 trader. That holds 70,000 litres of stuff. And yeah, I'm thinking, just use that instead. So, I think at the moment that is in what was the main storage barn before. I think, first of all, what we'll do, since we could be en route anyways to it, by just popping in here. Go. Okay, that was a really perfect target. So you didn't drop that, but I think when I use this off camera, I would use it first time, you know, just about to sweep it in. Or sometimes I have to stop and just sort of slightly readjust myself. But anyway, so not that bell here. I use this bell here, so so chuck that in. Like so. Uh, give the cow some straw. Yeah, that's going to soon. I'm going to see if they're there for the time being. See how much signage, how much they've got left. Well, 3,000 is something you already know. Alright, let's go into the menus. Animals. I'm going to quit the check. Sheep. Alright, chickens all good. 45,000 litres left, so. Yeah, it's going to be a bit longer, unfortunately. I think, in theory, or re in reality, not in theory, in farm theory. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that'd be a good idea, farm theory. Oh, no, no, right. Back to what I was on about. What was I on about? Oh, yeah, the cow. So, I know Farm Cop recently did a video on cows and that, saying stop using. Basically, Farmer was stop using TMR, use signage basically. Haven't watched it, but thinking about it, it makes sense. Because the cows are getting their 90 percent efficiency. Depends on the map, and depends on what cow barn you use though. Because not all cow barns and all maps with cows are the same. But yeah, in theory. Alright, can't get through there. But yeah, if we're getting 90% efficiency, okay, we're losing a slight little, little bit of efficiency. But, in reality, we can just use silage. It's quick, it's easy. And in reality, it is. It's very piss easy to do, so. Why we sign like we did making TMR? When in reality, all we really need is simply some silage fields, some grass not silage fields, some grass fields and then use that to get silage. Feed that to the cows. Yeah, makes sense. I know some farms in the UK do give cows just silage pretty much or silage with 
a little bit of additives of sort. But yeah, that does raise a good old question. Maybe once we've run out of silage and TMR and all that good stuff, then yeah, perhaps have a little look at that. Maybe do it as a final year thing on the farm. But yeah, so anyways, then we quick get the seed emptied. And then we start filling up with silage. I was going to say TMR, but no, silage. If I can get out of here. So anyways, with all that sorted, we've got a tree here, all good. And yeah, made a little bit of a dent into here. And yeah, I think, yeah, just take it. Sell a bunch of those sites now, just a full 70,000 here though, because there is a still good demand for them at the moment, even though we're in March, so... Mm, we sell Surrey as well. Get just over seven grand for that. About seven grand almost. And your, yeah, three grand for that, so... Yeah, if you just did that alone, sell the milk, solve our issues, but I think, yeah, for milk at the moment, we did sell one. Technically, still good now, but I'd rather wait till September, get a bit more milk in. Eggs, October, we've got about a thousand years at the moment. So, yeah, what was I saying? Uh, slightly it jobs it. <laughs> so, yeah, peak price, February. 570. Gone a bit down now, so if we have a look here, it's around about the 510, 520 mark. But we have a look at the garden center bells. 552 long metal stores or bells, whatever. 543 Pine Creek, 537 Tall Trees, 541. So still decent demanding prices. So I think, yeah, get 70,000 a year, so we get about. What, 40 grand almost out of it? So yeah, I think we'll do that. But yeah, so anyways, let's quick get this done. Take it to store, and I'll see you folks in a few moments. There we go, 70,000 years, about to be sold, only if he was in the right area. I'll go to here, thankfully. But yeah, so we should get about 40 grand or so out of this. Great, there we go. Look at that money rocketing up. Now we're finally debt free, and that is good. Well, 386, so close enough. And we'll take care of some things. Use market. Tempted. But nope. Nothing else in the use market. And yeah, that's pretty much what the first thing I do. Get a bit of money. What's in the use market? But anyways, we'll so transfer money to the dealership, so. That uh, got paid two grand, no, sorry, 1500. Because we paid 500. Or did we? Can't remember. We'll just pay the two grand anyway, so that'll cover us 
obviously from the 1st of March to the 1st of April. So basically, next week, got to give it back by the end of the day. But now we got ourselves a predicament to ensure everything's ready for what we said earlier on for about July, September, well, September, October, and all that weather stuff. To make sure it's all done. It doesn't have to be done today, we can go into April. That's the thing, if we go into April, it's not the end of the world. However, I've got a strong feeling come April, we're going to have a lot of contracts coming in. A lot of requests, a lot of demands from everywhere, from grass work mainly. Maybe even some seeding work, if we're lucky, stabbing the time. Especially with the fertilizer, we have very quick, easy, profitable jobs. They pop up if there is a demand for them in our PDA. We'll snap them up and we'll do them. But chances of that is varies. But yeah, we want to get it done this week in this well, basic in game day. But how we're doing this is a week. So we've got, I don't know, three now and about 5 pm, 6 pm. Let's say 6 7 pm at the latest. That's when it's going to be pitch black dark. And yeah, that's when pretty much we're gonna have to call it a night. Unless we are able to work in the night. That depends on if we can see where we're actually going, where we've rolled, where we haven't rolled. And just all sorts of other things, but that's the dilemma. So in theory, by the time we get back to the farm that it's gonna be about half nine, give or take. So half nine to say half six. Make it easy. That is nine hours. Nine hours, so as we quickly pull over here to get all of these fields rolled. Don't have to worry about the wheat, that's all already been taken care of. But yeah, if we say needs rolled in, just to highlight our situation. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine fields to roll. If I had to be picky, I'll say uh, the, 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 the sugar beet, less priority, fill beans. If we go into April, we may still be able to do the harvest in September. Because, yeah, October, we'll be having the sugar beet filled as well. But if we miss the sugar beets in November. But, yeah, so priority is going to be the barley. Get the barley done. And the rye. And then, if you've got time, do the field beans and do the sugar beans. I'll say what we'll do, we harvest around the main farm first of all. So, 106, 107, 54, 53, and 55. Wait a minute, does 52 need rolled in? No, no, no. Four minutes said they needed rolled in. I say usually farmers are pretty good at rolled in around here. Every farm does all their work now. Does does everything actually? Points it out now. So yeah, that's going to be the game. Next episode is get all that done, and then pretty much is contract work. Wait for contracts to come in. Let me get some quarries sometime this week, today, this in-game day. We've got our actual contract phone on us, so if we get any phone calls, we'll get the bell, arrange some stuff. Obviously, if a contract pops up anytime in the fourth week of March, we're going to take it on. Simply because we didn't have time. We've got eight hours, whatever it is I said, to get everything done. About nine hours, so... 
yeah, we're going to be inundated with work to do. But yeah, so yeah, prioritize Roy, Roy and Barty, Phil Beans, then the oh, Sugar Beans. So you know what? Screw it. Just gonna dump that there, let that roll. And we'll get the rotor where I've left that to. If I remember, we've left it in the field. Seuss cheese. Yep, there he is down here. Bombing it down the lanes. Obviously, the tractor is pre worn. Maybe we need to grab the fence, but. Oh, we don't have time. So, yeah, we'll get everything done. Oof. If I get actually hooked on. So, yep, field roller, yes. Quick check, hooks, pins, all that good stuff, yep. Everything looks good. And, yeah, this is a barley field. These are growing. That's going to be another thing to always deal with the weeds. But obviously with that, we'll deal with them as and when they pop up. And we're going to get savage anyway, so it's going to be a couple of months yeah. Actually, yeah, it'll be around uh, about May time, I think. May, June time. And there we go, we are starting the rolling. And yeah, it's good. As you can tell from up here, this POV, you can tell the difference in the textures and that, so. Obviously, that has been rolled. That's been rolled where it's a bit more firm. Because yeah, it was pretty silky smooth. That's been squished down properly compacted so it allows the seeds to grow properly but even if we do get all the rolling done that's fine actually is it only what two percent two and a half percent yield bonus but I'd rather have a late harvest and not have a two percent bonus because at the end of the day we are a farm business and we're still struggling yes we got land equipment got everything on the farm but we've got that 1.335 million pounds to pay off and yep on to get done within the next two three years of the farm I think realistically if we get it done in two years if we do things properly depends on how lucky we get the contract work and all that But anyways, I think that's where I'm going to leave it today. So next time, roll in, it's going to be the main task, and contract work. So yeah, in the next episode, we'll get all the rolling done. And then we'll go into April, and hopefully we get contracts. If not, I guess that's us out of business, because... Yeah, if they get work in, there's no point being a contractor, but... Anyways, as always... Hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share something, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, it's me Farmer Envoy Stream, and I'll see you all very soon.